Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing with more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are currently on the pause screen because it is once again raining and it is threatening violence today. But, funnily enough, stream time snuck up on me. I thought, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I have plenty of time to, like, uh, have some nice dinner. And then it was like, oh, it's one minute <laughs> till stream time. So I had to set things up to properly let people know, hey, <laughs> don't worry, stream is happening. That's why I have, like, the beginning screen. It's mostly there to be like, listen, it'll happen soon. I just have to set things up. But <clears throat> before we begin, because I don't want to risk the rain coming to get me, the first thing on our platter is that I want to get a horse. I really should just to like move along faster and then, but the one thing with the horse is I don't want to lose my horse and I want to be able to summon it to my side whenever. So we're going to go and uh, try and get the like, I forget which one. It's like the saddle or the bridle or something that allows you to teleport the horse to you. So we're going to first get that. And then we're going to try and get a horse maybe around the first place where you're kind of meant to do the horse quest. But So first things first. Because I do believe that the, yeah, the, the rumor is here. I wonder. We'll have to see. Well, like, what does the quest actually say, actually? There's a bridle that has a horse... A spring where a horse spirit resides. Lake of the Horse God. I'm gonna assume that the Horse God is probably that way. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go look there. Hey, Neon, how's it going with the game's main quest? We've only done one of the like uh, Divine Beasts so far. Now we're trying to like set ourselves up, do more towers, strengthen my stamina and stuff. And uh, who knows, maybe while we're down there, we might try to get some of Farash's horns because I think Farash spawns over there. But uh, I guess we will first uh, look for the, the horse teleportation power. And then we'll probably come back to this after we get a horse and be able to teleport it. And uh, then we'll probably maybe see about trying to get a Horn of Farosh shard. Maybe two if we can diddly do it. Probably what I'll do for that if they become like really recurring, like uh, necessary. So yeah, if this is the Lake God, we'll probably look around this. But yeah, depending on how recurring the... <laughs> divine dragons are as like uh, resource materials, I might grind them off screen, but only after we run into them once. Basically, I have to run into them, get a resource from them, and then I'll say it's good to like uh, well, first things first, I guess I should probably check out, make sure Cass isn't here. Always talk to Daddy Cass. And then we might see about getting horses here. Who knows? The lighting on that tree made me think something was there. Well, Beetle's here. So we'll talk to Beetle. Oh, and that guy! We'll also talk to that guy and see if he has an idea of where things are. Hey, Beetle. Yeah. Hey, how are you feeling today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have a rugged rhino, Beetle! Well, he's actually finally asking for something new. We need to kill the rain god before we can continue. Like, honestly, if that was a moral choice, I would be very immoral. Because it's just... <laughs> rain gets in the way so much, man! Well, what do you got? We have a decent amount of arrows. For ten. Ah, eh, we'll buy more. I have no real reason to grab anything else from you. We won't sell right now. We'll talk to the painter man. Hey, painter man. 
Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Let's see what picture we show him here. Ah. All right, so I kind of have an idea already where that would be. I'll have to mark it on the map, but he'll probably tell us. Those two tiny stone statues depicted here, and that faint view of the Bridge of Hylia in the distance. From this angle, I think it perhaps this is the northeast shore of Lake Hylia. With those mountains in the distance. That's kind of where we're going. Possibly Scouts Hill, or perhaps a little further east of there. Thank you, man. Uh... That's all I know, I'm afraid. Sorry, but you'll have to follow your own feet if you want to find it. You gave me, like, a really good head start, my dude. They look like a husband and wife embracing. Such a simple yet charming sight. Yeah, it's just, like, right over here. And you know what? We'll even do that. So I'm glad I came over here first, because who knows? He might have disappeared. But now we're going to make our way to the Lake of the Horse God, and presumably that little, like, uh, what's the word? Land Peninsula? I guess, goddammit, it's the, the, the demons. Because... If the... Because I know the Horse Resurrection God guy exists. And the line... Oh, son of a bitch! And the rumor mill imp seems to imply that the saddle will be found at the spring of the horse god. So that's probably where it'll be. Any on? Are there any topics you want to chat about? Maybe TV series or movies or something? Hmm, trying to think. I haven't been watching that many shows. Not too, too many. Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, this is a Korok thing. I was wondering why there was a hole. We'll quickly do this, but I'm trying to think of like, uh, like uh, for shows that I really should get into, like uh, I'm trying to think what shows I want to get into. Well, hmm. I wonder if I can just roll them in after they're down there. But I'm trying to think. Because, like, uh, there aren't that many major, like, shows or movie announcements I really super care about. Like, uh, there were apparently a bunch of Disney movie announcements, and they're just kind of, eh. Mostly because there are a bunch of sequels and live-action things. Like, live-action Lilo and Stitch. Apparently, like, from the little teaser I saw, they got a good voice actor for Stitch, whether they got the original guy back or have a sound alike. <laughs> Do you support the Korok space program? I've yet to send one to space myself. But I can definitely understand people's annoyance of the Koroks. Well, that's mildly ominous. I guess we'll try and resurrect you, and then we'll probably glance around. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am Melania. Hast thou... I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? If my power is returned to me, I may be able to help you out in some way. So please, I beg of you, help me regain the power I've lost. A thousand rupees? Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have that. This happens all the time. Here you go. I'll still look around. I hope you don't have it, like, there, because it's either going to be way in the deep part. Like, hidden. Maybe it's... Let's see. Glance around, make sure, like, uh not hidden away from me. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a rock. Gib. 
ancient saddle. A mysterious saddle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equip a horse with this and use down to call them even when they're far away. Precisely what I want. And then I guess if... And it's raining again! I guess it's the tears of the horse god. How dare you? You just... They're not giving me a thousand rupees. You are a hateful little man. <laughs> you missed the third shroom? Ah, well. I don't think it's like a major shroom. But I had a bomb. So I don't mind not grabbing them all. Now, if it was a hardy radish, I'd probably feel bad. Because hardy radishes, they go hard. <laughs> Find the rain god and kill it, if only. Yep. But yeah, I do find it funny that apparently in Tears of the Kingdom, they give you the ability to really mess with the Koroks. Because just like after these little guys playing a prank, keeping our bag expansion from us. It is only deserving. Well, on the other I have watched a great movie at cinema of someone. It's the Deadpool and Wolverine. Awesome and entertaining. That's good to hear. Very nice to hear. It's very funny that, like, the Deadpool movies like, tend to do well. Probably because Ryan Reynolds really looks out for those movies because he really likes Deadpool. Like, I really wonder if the original, like, uh, test footage for the Deadpool movie, like, actually was leaked. Oh, darn it, they saw me. Because I have to sneak up on horses and then break their wheel. I'm going to go for that one. It looks pretty. But it's funny because... God damn it, Electro Keys. Yeah, go away. Yeah, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan Reynolds, like, leaked the <laughs> footage himself. Soon. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. I was hitting right instead of left. I'm a fool. It's those damn keys over there. I wonder if I could... Nope, you cannot. That'd be funny, though. Just Zawarudo the horse. Quit turning around. I'm trying to capture you. It's probably because it's trying to go back to its home point. Which is a bit far away. So it like moves, tries to turn, sees me, runs more. But I've heard good things about the... Wolverine and Deadpool movie. And now we'll properly soothe you. Darn it. Okay, I'll definitely have to eat my stamina shrooms, or like my stamina meat skewers for you. Because I long for you. You're a very pretty horse. Then off we go to eat stamina. I probably should have had more. There we go! It's been a long time since I captured a horse. <laughs> Yesterday I bought and watched the first Pokemon movie. I really like the... Like, uh, Pokemon the first movie. It's a very fun time. I need to go through and, like, watch all of the Pokemon movies more. It's okay. Hey. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Oh, I haven't seen your face before. Did you know about the stable system? Well, I'll say I don't, because <laughs> I don't think I do. Ah. Then allow me to explain as you're on that horse. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. How do they know how to summon horses? You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it'll become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you'll be able to swap horses in and out as you please. 
Do you know how to catch a wild horse? I know how. Ah, pardon me. Let me start over. Ah. Welcome to our stable. I'd like to register this horse. Mm. Apparently our bond is pretty bad. It's wild temperament, but has good strength, stamina, and speed, all things considered. 20 rupees, not bad. Now the question is, what name shall we name our horse? That is the question. Not a pona, because... That'd be funny if they couldn't, wouldn't even let you name your horse upon it. It's like, you're not, you don't have the legendary horse. Screw off. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a good name. It's been a bit since I've had to name something in one of these streams. I'm trying to think. Pothamax. That's. I think that goes over the word limit. Join the sink. Of a certain name. I had a random name came to mind. Castle. We shall call you Castle. Oh. Yes. Would you like to take your new host with you? I guess board horse, and then we'll see about trying to put the teleportation uh -huh. diddly on him. Mm. By the way, if you got separated from your horse, you can whistle in and we'll come running. But your horse isn't magic. That's why I got the, ho the, the saddle. They can't hear you if you're too far away, so keep that in mind. Hey. Hmm. Take horse. Yes. Funny that there's actually paperwork. The only bureaucracy left is uh -huh. the stables. Hmm. I wonder, let's see. Or is it already on there? Doesn't look like it. I wonder how to equip it. <laughs> I haven't seen your face before to the person wearing a mask. Maybe he's being passive aggressive about it. Because yeah, it doesn't look like. You need to get used to the horse controls. I do wonder if that, if it's like already on or if there's a specific way to put on it. You need like the bridle and the saddle to get it to work. Because I do not know. <laughs> We're going crazy. Let's see. As a test thing, we'll try and get across the bridge and head there on our horse. We'll just come over here, take that off. Come on, let's build a bond. I probably should have given you some, like, apples or something, shouldn't I have? Through the forest we go. Very happy. He's a very angry horse. It's interesting that it's playing like different music than I'm used to. That was birds. No need to be afraid of birds. Complaining, dear castle. <laughs> well, if you were following my orders, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> now, 
Quit slowing down. We've got a bridge to go to. It would be funny if we went by and there was just Farosh going by. It's probably a good thing that I can't throw bombs from here. It's just like, ah, throw bombs at everything I see. Ah, uh, we've had, it's been a while since we've been here, so more than likely, Lazolfos are probably gonna be by. Yep. I shall go kill those enemies. I wonder if I do need the bridle and the saddle to get it to all work. Can only presume probably at this point. Which luckily I think we were kind of heading in that direction. No, you shall not, dear enemy. And stab. You shall not scare my dear horse. His name is Castle because he is a prince. And it's raining again! You bloody Satan bastard. I probably should have whistled to you. Make you come my way. Also need to get used to, like, the horse controls. It's more about steering the horse in a direction rather than pushing forward. Now, just don't go crazy while we're on this bridge, castle, please. Okay, I know that there are monsters there, but we're kind of going up this hill anyway. will make us go a bit faster when we actually just want to wander around. And I'm just trying to get from one place to another. I guess this means I'll have to... Oh, so maybe not... Yeah, because he said maybe not precisely here. But around Scout Hill. So maybe actually, ah, that. Because there's a tree. Presumably, probably. I'll let my horse stay there. I'll come back for him. Is it? Ah, it is. Bit rainy. I, mean, I did. Why does it feel like it almost got like less rainy as I entered this area? It's like ah, memory time. And from YouTube chat, also here's another great aspect of the Deadpool Wolverine movie, and it's Deadpool brings up and speaks about the meta narrative of filmmaking's history. I think that's kind of a given for Deadpool kind of has to <laughs> at this point kind of has to be a meta narrative or else it'll just be like him being a little weirdo in somebody else's story oh hey it was actually raining in the memory anyway so it was canonical Not this would let up anytime soon your path seems to mirror your father's you've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well we have a you father? Training necessary to we don't even know our father. He's dead. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... One day... You realized... That you just weren't meant to be a fighter. I would be suck because I've done a lot of fighting. The only thing people ever said... Was that you were born into a family of the royal guard. And so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. 
If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? That would be interesting. Link, go, Link going, I don't want to be a hero. I want to be a gardener. Well, I think it... Maybe it's like a... Let up a bit. Now I have to get back over to my horse. Die. Give me m your m meat. The one issue of not having used much of the horse stable system before, I probably should have listened more about to what the guy said. Because I don't know if I, like, if I just leave my horse, and of course it's raining again, because of, this is Breath of the Rains. But like, if I left my horse and teleported, if it will find its way to a stable or not. I do like that the mini-map, like, lets you know, yeah, your horse heard you. <laughs> now we need to be careful on our way down. Let's try and make it to the Riverside Stable, which is that way. We don't want you falling off a cliff. Don't want to Skyrim our horse. Come on, it's not that big. Well, fine, we'll find a different way down. You were all fine jumping a gap before against my will, but now when I see, like, ah, there's a normal little down way, you're like, no, nah, I don't wanna. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we're gonna make our way down, dear castle. <laughs> Calm, calm. Yeah, it's even letting up, dear castle. The evils of the rain god no longer. We'll make our way down to the road. And I'll have to keep, keep in mind, like, uh, the pink flowery tree. Where, like, all the creatures gather and head there for the other treasure. Properly get you kitted out, I guess. Oh, quit complaining. I haven't even made you go into combat. And because I'm... I, I don't want to spend a thousand rupees to awaken the horse god just yet. I'm not going to. Across the plains of Hyrule we ride. This is actually pretty beautiful. Oh, and another idea. After we stable him, I think we're gonna go and uh, fight the stone talus on the, like, uh, Great Plateau. Because we never did run into that guy. We never went into the forest. Afraid of a giant bush, dear castle. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a beetle. How'd you get here? Oh, oh. I'll talk to you in a moment, beetle. Huh. Wrong thing, I needed to. <coughs> My bad. Oh. I'd like to just talk to the guy while on you without targeting him, but the answer is no. I would like to board this horse. Yes. Oh. I shall go. Talk and it's raining again! Jesus Christ! Hmm. Oh. Don't know if I have much to sell, sell, but let's see. Go ahead and sort. If I remember being told, opal and amber are kind of 
the more sellable of everything. So we'll go ahead and throw these out. And now I'll head to fight a stone talus, I guess. We'll take that back. And what we'll probably do is uh, blah, 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 come up here and uh, move along, look for any like uh, shrines and just do stuff like that. But first, to the Great Plateau. And then maybe I'll try to set up a like, I don't know, a fireplace, or the fireplace, a, a campfire, and see if we can see Midnight Farosh there. I guess we'll go to the Great Plateau Tower and go. Oh yeah, Zelda brings up a good question. What will be after and beyond the end of the hero's journey? For, like, I assume Link. I honestly don't know. Considering that, uh... I've yet to start Tears of the Kingdom at all, and I've never beaten Breath of the Wild. For this Link, I guess it would be like... Helping Zelda do whatever, because everybody he knows is dead. Like, maybe he might... Still, like, adventure around. But yeah, that'd probably be it. Considering that Zelda has been like, relatively trapped for, like, a hundred years. And as shown by the trailers for Tears of the Kingdom, she is out and kicking. Unless that's her, like, I don't know, reincarnation Linda. It's like, more than likely, Link will probably just be hanging out with Zelda. Showing her the land, the world, exploring. No idea if, like, Zelda would even want to... ...try and recreate the Hyrule Kingdom, if she even could. Considering that... ...like, uh, post... Which the word uh, post uh, calamity le uh, like world yep. is just mostly filled with minor settlements and then like the Zora Kingdom and I guess Goron City the the Gerudo City so I guess to a degree she could try to get everybody to band together to a relative degree. But really, <laughs> like, uh, really, I think Zelda would just want to have a vacation after everything. Rock. Because I know there's a stone talus in this forest. I know you're in here somewhere. Oh god, there you are. There's the rocky quarry. I think... The offender is you. Let me kill ya. Let me kill ya. Oh, damn. Not what I wanted. Don't mind me. I'm just here to kill you. Give me all your amber. Goodbye, Stone Talus. Gave me lots of things. Lots of amber to sell. That is the one downside of me having some knowledge of Breath of the Wild. Running into a stone talus for the first time is like always a magical experience. But now that we did that, we're gonna come up here, follow the way, do towers, try and find the forest, and also from there we should be able to see the big old cherry blossom-esque tree. Try to go there to get the second part of the horse armor. 
so that we can summon our dear boy from any distance. Imagine if you were that horse. It's just like I was uh, uh, influenced by this warrior to follow him on his journeys to carry him from place to place. He put this strange thing on me. And now the world screams and I end up by his side no matter what. I dare not question the might of my master. Hmm. I keep forgetting that I kind of want to set up the... Like a fire at the bridge and try to wait out for Osh at some point. Because I think that's it. So we're going to try and make our way that way. Which means uh, down to the road we go. Down to the road. To the road we fly, you rusty toad. We row, we row across the sky. Imagine if you could paraglide with your horse. And your horse is just like, what the fuck? I am a horse. I am not meant to fly. Too bad, horse. Hyrule Ridge. Also, I just realized we went over, uh, like, uh, Lake Hylia. We could have looked for that uh, Zora's wife, and we just didn't. <coughs> Get a load of this lighting. It all just bouncing off the water. Also realized I probably should have made more stamina. Oh, but another traveler. All right, I'll kill you. One second, I'm, I'm gonna grab some crab raves. Like I can only assume you're a traveler. You're just standing there. Unless you're gonna give me a quest, you're gonna make me all murder right. you. Ah, it's the ban different banana man. Your face is different. I'll pass. I'll pass. Although I think most salespeople would like to do that. If you didn't buy my thing, die. Oh, interesting. Oh, how dare. No. And I will take your bananas anyway, fiend. Fiend what you are. Yep. Bomb. The funny thing is, I. <laughs> it would be hilarious if you could, like, placate that specific guy by saying, Oh yeah, sure, I'll buy your bananas. And he's like, yeah, he sells bananas to you and just goes on his way. I think that would be funny. I think those are smashables. So we shall do some smash. Well, at least one of them's a smashable. Can't sneak up on those guys. Prepare for smashing. Smack. Oh, hey, aluminum stone. We can get another diamond from the Zora. Huzzah. You will not escape me. Is that like a... A circle of flowers? Do you have to... zippity doodah down from there? Do not worry, dear fox. I do not kill foxes. For foxes are cute. Another thing, uh, it's been, uh, going over a hundred years in Breath of the Wild's story, and also Tears of the Kingdom is a sequel story in a few years ahead. Would that make Zelda and Link ages to be approximately over 120 years old? Probably. Depending on, like, how old they were. So technically, <laughs> they're basically the normal age of, like, a, a normal Zora. Considering that, like, kid Zoras grew up to be... Oh, well, that's dark. Just a dead town. I will climb this tree. It exists. Well, what popped up? Oh, you? There's a camp. We'll try and head there. Ah, we're not gonna make it. Darn. I took too long. 
I'll talk to you, but you're probably gonna be like, ah, skeleton, aren't you? Or what are you looking at? The big tree? Hey! Hey, man! What's that? You're dying for some shield surfing action? That it? Oh, that's ah, that's what it is. They want you to shield surf for that one. Shield what now? <laughs> Chill out, man. You don't need to worry about the details. My best bud is standing over there beneath that tree. He can show you the ropes. So you're gonna go up there or not, man? Totally! Mm. Epic! That's the spirit! After all, shields are made to be surfed on! They really weren't. If I had to go black, is he mugging me right now? This is like the first loading screen in forever. Hey, man. Nice of you to stop by. Sorry about Finn strong and you into coming up here. <laughs> it's because we're a member of the shield surfing gang, the shield breakers. Finn and me are the only two members, though. You just gotta live the experience, the lifestyle, if you will. Yeah, shields are made to be surfed on. And if you don't have your own shield, we've, come so we've got some lying around here for you. You can buy if you wanna. If people don't start buying them soon, the gang will go out of business. My well, first things first, okay. Let's see. I guess I'll use this rusty shield. Let's see, uh. Da 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 da! Da da da! Who needs a horse now? I have a shield! Da 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 da! Am I gonna make it? Booyah! I do like that they made that a feature. That that's just a thing you can do. You weren't even trying to run. But I do like that they had, like, a shield surfing tutorial guy there, kinda. To, like, remind you, hey, don't glide, shield surf. Idiot. We need to head up there for that one. Ah, oh, another stable! Which means there's gonna be a shrine nearby. Why is it... Why is it always you? Why'd you run back into it? Because it, it saw me, and you're like, ah, I'm free. No. Like, I swear, I just keep finding you. Anything under this rock? I will throw this rock at you. Get some survive. Don't you run away from me! Get back here! You deserve a rock where your head should be! Maybe that will knock some sense into you! Yeah. Well, apparently she has a, a very thick skull. And apparently a thick body. Didn't even get hit at all by that tail. She's immune to the Pokemon ability of Tail Whip. Will you stop wandering around? Nice. I can have a day just watching the river go by. Now I'm just going back to the stable. Well, first things first, I'm gonna make my way over there. There's another... Ba -ba -ba. Oh, looks pretty... Pretty deep, though. So we gotta... Make our way across. On our way... To do things, maybe. <laughs> yeah! That isn't even where I wanted to put it, but it works. <laughs> Technically, I didn't solve your puzzle. You just, like, like, ah, oh, it's because it was play taken from that one. I didn't solve your puzzle at all, but thank you for giving me your reward. Damn it. Mira Shah's Shrine. What will be in here? Combat? Death? God? Will we kill God?
Let's go. Down we go. Doesn't seem like a combat one. Oh, is it gy What is that? Is it gonna be gyro? That's a big power thingy. Huh. Alright. Uh, guess I'll grab this. What? A sludge hammer attack plus six? Okay. What do I want to lose for you? I guess the sickle. We can always get more sickles. Why do I get the feeling that... Ah, it's like, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha, we need to play... Never mind, I don't get you. Because I thought we were like, ah, we have to place you here and then we uh, blast it, but apparently not. We can pick it up. Like, am I supposed to take it up with me? That's probably a bad idea. My impatience gets the best of me again. Would be hilarious if they just put a treasure chest there to mess up you. Well, that's great. Don't you roll away from me! Okay, so we'll try to take it up. And then we'll see. Because we can't freeze it and smack it with the hammer, which I thought was going to be it. Like, ah, you need to freeze it in time and build up kinetic energy and send it flying like a... Like, I don't know. I forget what it's called. Because we can, they gave us an elevator to get back up here. I genuinely do not understand this. Because they, hmm. Because we can't freeze you. Oh, because I picked the wrong thing. My, I'm an idiot. So I was right the initial thing. I just had the magnesis out instead of the thing. I stopped one, two over. Okay, gotcha now. I was a fool. Nope. There we go. Let's see if that'll go through. Hit, nope. I wonder if I can just bomb it to activate. Save me some hammer power. Go flying! Ah, that did it. And then they reveal it was part one. Which actually does look like it's just gonna be part one. Okay, so... From the looks of it, we just need to smack this so that that becomes a bridge. Want to make sure that wasn't a sneaky hidden door there. Why do 
you have like a weird pathway behind you. Alright, I'm interested. Why do you have thing you just did part two electric boogaloo? Another slidge hammer, but critical up. Hmm. Because I have two things, so I should be fine. Interesting. I'm going to presume that, like, I have to... Let's see, Billy. I didn't hit it enough. But well, we have another sludge hammer here, so. Go flying. Darn. Because it hits the water and then it becomes not enough. I wonder if, like... Nah, that couldn't be it. My brain thought maybe I could cheese it a bit by activating some Cryonis. But I don't think they'd, have, like, want you to do that. Well, that's foolish of me. I like that it just disappears. Magic! This one requires multiple hits. Maximum! What do you mean, that game? Game. You literally made me. Alright, so let's try again. And one more. That's gonna hit the tower. Darn it. It feels like one was too much. Like the red one was too much, but the other one wasn't. Darn. Double darn. I'll get there eventually, but we can come over here and grab a new sludge hammer. Got the other one on, like, second try. This one being a big jerk. Luckily I can get all my arrows back. That's a plus. Why couldn't they give me a durability up? That would have been key. All right. I think that. Darn! It feels slightly inconsistent. Like in the amount of power that I put in. Alright. I need to count my hits more. I wish I would just like spawn a new one. Each time. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is too much. Let's go five. Could also be the angle, but no idea how to change the angle. One, two, three, four. Let's go for four. See how it goes. Okay, maybe I miscounted. My brain's turning to mush because I'm just like, why is it taking so long? One, two, three, four, five. All right, not five. Again, could be somehow I'm hitting them at different angles. Four, five, six. That's probably it, actually, because... Hmm. 
it's a, it's a little bothersome. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's not gonna work, is it? I don't know, it's slightly annoying. And then, especially because they don't give me infinite sledgehammer for this. It's that damn angle. Why don't they give me infinity? Darn you. Like, it's that damn angle. Come on, game. Be kind. I don't know. Just seems a, like a waste of my time at this point because it's inconsistent feeling. Feels like you can only hit it at a weird wonky angle. Darn you, game. Because I'm trying to make it so that I hit it so that it's more straight rather than up. But it doesn't seem like it's possible. Unless you're, like, meant to take it, like, move it, which is... Not how golf is played. And plus, I that, think that would make it go more forward rather than up, thus hitting the thing. Or like, who knows? Come on. Dang it. But that does seem to probably be the thing you need to do. But I kind of don't want to waste my goddamn weapons for it. That's the main thing. Either give me infinite sledgehammers, or like, don't make this a bitch. Because right now it's just a bitch. Eh. <laughs> it doesn't seem interesting, it just seems inconsistent. Come on, fuck off. Because that's my main complaint with this, is that, no, they make it a little annoying to, they make it annoying to line up your shot, unless it's right there, but right there's apparently the wrong place to put it. Like, I don't know, it just seems stupid. It's just a bothersome, bothersome thing. Because they don't want to give you infinite sledgehammers. Let's try and... Well, you're going to hit that pillar, aren't you? Nope, not enough power. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to lose more of my weapons. Fuck this. That's the main thing. If you're gonna have an inconsistent thing like this, you need to provide infinite sledgehammers. Else it's just a waste of my time. And it's probably not even gonna be a good thing in there anyway. So I leave. Because it does seem like you have to move the ball away from the pedestal to make it work. Unless there's something else. But it does not seem like there is anything else in there beyond move it. So I leave you. Funnily enough, that one, far more annoying than any of the gyro control ones. Because at least with the gyro control, it's in my hands. That one, it just seems inconsistent. And again, a waste on my resources. Because it's not like I could infinitely, like... If the Kronos thing was changed so that you could, like, have something be waiting eternally until you unfreeze it, if it's an inanimate object, so that you could, like, use the bombs instead, like, then maybe I would spend more time there. Getting the angle right with explosions, but just like, just having it be a waste on my resources, no. I do not want a mini 
game thing. Why is that like a super axe? Why why do you have like a big ass axe? As your diddly D, I will take it instead. Oh hey. Gor uh, Goron guy. Who just disappeared. That uh, nope, there he is. Goron guy, come back. Please. I long to talk to you. I've only seen one other Goron. I don't even know if you're the same Goron or not. It's hard to tell from the back. Oh. Bolden. Hey there, I'm Bolden, Goron City's ambassador of tourism. Hyrule Castle and Death Mountain, the roads around here can get pretty dangerous for travelers. Mm. That's all he has to say. Doesn't even have anything to sell. I guess being a Goron, maybe he has to carry, I don't know, rocks around with him to actually eat. So it makes sense that there's like a giant bag on his back. Hmm. Might have to knock down some of these trees to... Wait a minute. Oh. Because I went ahead over there. I mean, I guess I could do it with the cryo... With my cryo slate thing. But I want to see if I... Ha-ha! There you are. Let's see. Is there anything here that I want to sacrifice? I guess you. We'll probably kill that guy. Head over there, bomb that. Be gone, Satan. Almost right between the eyes. Alright, now let's see. I've never done this. Never done sailing before. I don't think. Who even made this? More this way. No, game? That's not where I was turning, you bastard. I was turning this away. And now I shall put up a cryonis anchor. Now that works. Almost sent my raft spilling. Small chest. Here. Scary chest over here. I wonder who did that. Like, they'll never look at the other chest. And hilariously enough, I prefer the arrows. They don't take up any of my weapon slots. And now we shall try to head upstream. Give them back their wrath. Be a good neighbor. Unless it's like nobody's raft. That's entirely possible. And then just hope that it doesn't roll away through the waves. There was a quest over here. I guess we can first talk to you, see what you have to say. Uh, I just don't know what to do. What's wrong? Listen, if you want to get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and cachet. And the only way to do that in this day and age is to go and stay with me here, Hyrule Castle. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but rumor has it, that's full of con abandoned treasure and weapons. I almost thought it said contraband. They're just sitting in there, free for taking. Well, if you can get past all the bloodthirsty monsters, of course. I'd say take it easy. Take it easy and let a rumor like this go to waste. Nah, I gotta go big. There's a docks on the north side of Hyrule Castle. C and I can hear you get inside. And I hear you can get inside the castle from there. There's also an ancient shrine somewhere around there. Smells like treasure to me. Stinks like it even. Of course, no one I know who's gone to Hyrule Castle has come back. Probably because they're too busy being rich. I just need to come up with a solid plan. Then I'll be living the good life. You are going to die. 
I sometimes see it in my dreams. Do you think that a long time ago people used to live in the sky? I think so. Hey, mister, just once in my life I want to see balloons float, float right up in the sky. If you help me and realize my balloon dream, I'll give you a treasure I got from the skies. Thanks. Leave it to me. <laughs> so I think I know what I need to do. It is, uh, what are they? These things. Because we want to place it on... Yeah, you brought me balloons! What a guy! You just tied those balloons to that barrel and make it soar into the sky! I did. Well, until it got hit by that tree. Floaty! Balloons soaring high in the sky! Fly up and away into the land of the clouds! Cause pollution. I want to visit the land of the sky guy by balloon. Then I'm gonna ride a really big bird. Yep, that's my dream. Thank you, mister. This is a treasure from the sky. Here, take it. A mystery stone fragment that fell from the sky. Looks like it would fetch a good price, but you may be able to use it in some recipes as well. Well, great. Now I'll never want to sell it. Now let's see what this rumor mill has to say. Oh, hey! They actually have some meal recipes on the walls. Did not notice that. Tracy here, awake or asleep. My quest for juicy rumors never rests. Ever. Doesn't everyone gossip in their sleep? Today I've got a hot rumor fresh from the mill that is, wait for it, an exclusive. And that special topic is the mysterious Korok mask. They say if you pour enough love into an object, a spirit will inhabit it. Something that's creepy has just got to be true. And apparently this Korok mask really is inhabited by a spirit. If you wear it, it supposedly shakes and makes adorably weird noises every now and then. Maybe it does that to tell you when friends are nearby and you can't see them. Who knows? Some say the treasure chest containing this mask is hidden in a tree hollow in a forest that makes people lose their way. Hmm, sounds like a tough place to find something. Luckily, word has it, there's a convenient trick for finding your way. And you don't even tell us the trick. Now people are going to lose their minds. They're all going to die, Tracy. And it'll be all your fault. Well, we probably need to head that way now. Well, I guess first things first, I should probably do some cooking if there's... Yep, there it is. Let's see. Guess two Endura Shrooms. Oh, dang it. Two Endura Shrooms and meat. Does not equal much. And one gourmet meat creates a full wheel. What if it's just like normal meat? Well, I guess this is the gourmet meat. This one is just the raw prime. Hmm, same thing. Don't want to accidentally hit eat. Make our favorite money-making things. That can also be used to heal us in a pinch. They sell for a decent bit, these. And with him right there, we can pawn them off right quick. Like we have lots of bird meat to eat. Side quest reference to Skyward Sword game. I thought that, but I didn't, like, for a, a part of me kind of doubted, because, like, but what do balloons have to do with Skyward Sword? I guess it's more like, like, oh, she, like the, oh, she's going to go there, ride a big bird, and, like, it's less about the balloons and more about the place she believes in and wants to get to. From YouTube chat, hello, fried chicken. Yep, which somehow becomes something that looks like a steak when we cook it with the hearty <laughs> diddly dee. Oi, you can't, you can't fool me. I know I didn't have all the full chicken there. And we'll sell just enough to get to... Well, first things first, how much 
is that sparkly rock even worth? 300, it can be used in recipes I do not know. Balloons are a reference to Tingle, I guess that's true. I completely forgot Tingle was a thing. Hey, the name is Tingle, he exists. Fear the power of Tingle. <laughs> then we don't even need to sell anything big. We'll come back here and sell some lower tier. Oh, actually, sell some amber. And now we'll be able to awaken the horse god. But first things first. Well, we'll probably not use you. We'll use Knight's Broadsword. Use you till you break, and we're gonna head up there, and... I don't know, is it just me, or is there something surrounding the top of the tower? <laughs> beetle. Good old Beetle. Always there when you need him. <laughs> don't worry, most of the time I forget Tingle too. Says YouTube chat. I don't think he's annoying or anything, it's just like, it's been so long since I've played a game that had him in it. Or really focused about him. Like, I don't find him annoying. I just find him a wee bit interesting. We're not gonna freeze the beef. We're gonna blow up the beef. Yep. Die! Ah, and the other one's going too fast. Yep. Haha, <laughs> got it anyway! Give me your meat. Because they were all coming to me until I showed them who's boss. I okay, saw so a butterfly over here. Can I collect you? Where'd you go? I think the, I looked away. The butterfly despawned. Such is life. Believe it or not, there's actually a Tingle game. I think I heard about that. I believe, like, for some reason my brain wants to say that there were actually two Tingle games, but I don't believe that. But I do know that there was at least a Tingle game. And I'm fairly certain that it wasn't ever officially brought to America, if I recall. Also, uh... Well, now why would you do that? Why would you throw barrels at me? That is illegal, Donkey Kong. I'm gonna kill you. Let's see if we can not blow up here. Damn it! The guy's gonna blow up! Hmm. Didn't seem to awaken any of his friends, so I guess they're all dead. Oh no, they just didn't care. We're gonna climb up this wicky wonky weird place. Not a, nobody even there to throw the rock at me. I hear the plinky plonk. All right, cryo guy. Well, somebody tried to throw a rock at me. I think it was a octa rock. Oh, fire guy. Dang it. No. No. But... Uh... I'll have to go back into my inventory to drop you. But I believe the kid uh, wanted a fire rod? Let me see. Back in Hatino Village. Weapon connoisseur, fire rod will carry you. And go find that Octorok that tried to bean me over the head, the bastard. Well, now that's just illegal. From that far away, how dare. And so consistently, too. Ah, I thought I'd be able to go a little bit deeper. There are actually three Tingle games, huh?
How dare you? I barely got out of range of that. I'm gonna have to clear our way to kill that Octorok so I can then get that chest and then start making my way up. Is there a chest up there too? I think I. If only I, this was like super destructible and I could just blow up everything or like set fire to everything. I don't think that's very fair, game. Why do you have such accurate angles, Bojangles? All right, now that that's just illegal. Drown. Yes, drown. Drown, fiend. All right, that one. And then we can just like probably make our way to the treasures from the top if we can get there. We got to be careful. We don't want to accidentally fall in. Time to climb from a horrible angle. We're probably going to have to eat some of our Enduras. <laughs> you were way more efficient than I was playing this game. Could be play style. Could be that I... All right, no idea why that was electrocuted, but sure. But like, uh, and I see that something fell from the sky. <laughs> but like, uh, could just be that differing play styles. Could be that technically I've played this before, but it has been a decent long time. But that's the kind of the beauty of Breath of the Wild. So many different play styles. Alright. More stamina. Hmm. Two Japan exclusives, and uh, the one I named is the only one the English viewers got. Freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Hmm. <laughs> also, also, miss seeing your streams. Ah, both thank you and sorry that, like, uh, either my streams don't align with your timeline. Or also, there, because there was a bit where my streams were far more inconsistent because Brain was just bashing me. Which actually made me start to play Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild just gels a lot more with me for some reason. It's a lot easier to stream. Like, some games are kind of draining to stream. They're still fun, but there's just something about the act of streaming them that like, kind of takes from you as much, if not more, than it gives. And that's kind of what uh, Persona 3 was. Fun, but, again, I think it's mostly my brain going perfectionist mode and, oh, God, time management for social aspects of game, uh, and just, like, refuses to get rid of that subconsciously. And so it kind of eats away at me. Meanwhile, this is far more easy to do. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is just a fun, fun, fun time. Why are there rocks here? I guess... I guess it came up and destroyed part of the hideout. Either that or there's a throw rocks down Korok minigame. Could be either. But that's what I saw. The top of a skull cavern. Neat. And it's raining again! <laughs> Scanning area. Give me the area power. Oh, for me, it was medical stuff. Ah, definitely fair. And hope that you're doing better medically. So Persona 3 is making you give an evil eye? Not really, because Persona 3 is fun. It's just brain is wonky and weird with it. Hmm, there's like two. <laughs> I always jump off the towers. That's like partly how to like uh, get good, uh, what's it word? Like, uh, I was going to try and climb, but it's fucking raining.
Cause, so there's the that, and then there's that. Ah, the ruins, so they're not trees. Mecca Island. So we definitely want to go there, because we have ten... ba ba, -ba. <laughs> One minute clear sky, five minutes rain. That does... that is what it feels like. So we're gonna try and make our way there, because... We have 10 hearts, and hopefully that's enough. That feels like a number that the Master Sword will demand of us. And even if not, we can... Darn it. And even if not, we can uh, try to... Uh... Well, I don't know. It'd be hilarious if it was like 10 hearts? No. What you need, you need like... 11 hearts, so we have to go trade out my stamina vessel for a single extra heart. That'd be amusing. You know, I just realized something. There aren't any Sculptulas in this game. Because, like, Sculptula is, like, a prime 3D Zelda monster, and there just aren't any Sculptulas in this game. Huh. Do you want a spoiler or can I watch you rage? Probably watch me rage for a bit, because... I only want spoilers like, uh... Like, for me, chat can offer spoilers to be like, Hey, upcoming thing is annoying, would you like a hint? That kind of stuff. Like, uh... Asking before. But... Only if it really gets annoying that I might. Because I think we need to follow these lanterns. Then potentially the wind. Because it's obviously going to get more wonky as time goes on. I know I got through here once before. I forget if I got through without a guide, though. I saw, like, let me head back to the other one, because I did see a... At least I thought I did. It's off in the distance. Hmm. And you are telling me to go... Let's see. I wonder if the wind changes. Because I got here and it's telling me to go this way. Please don't eat me, tree. Forest Dweller's Spear. Don't think there's anything I'd want to get rid of for that, but good to know that you exist. Okay, the wind... Ah, torch. Do I want to give up something for a torch? No, I don't think so. Besides, I have a flame blade. Hmm. Wind is saying that way. I feel like I made a mistake. following the wind like I decided. Almost figured that I'd be teleported far away by this point. So, interesting to know that there's, like, some level of, like, kindness. But it is kind of pointing in that direction. Maybe this torch is more to be like, hold it out? So let's see, what do I want to give up? Honestly, double axe. Alright, we'll follow the wind with torch in hand.
led to a another chest, which is opal. Have you already tried to pull the sword? Nope, this is the first time coming here for this playthrough. I wonder if that was just to lead me to this... ...like, a uh, treasure. Stop and look around. Look for any torches. Because it could be that I just need to commit more. Because they are still flowing in that direction. <coughs> or may... I wonder... If I can use that, this to fall the way. That'd be a neat mechanic, using the torch to... ...point you in the right direction. I'm gonna lean on that being what they want. says this way okay wind is pointing this way around this tree considering they gave me the torch it's what I'm expecting Now it's pointing me this way. Jump scare me with a hearty radish, you dare. I'm going to assume that this is the way to go, dear torch. We'll leave the birds alone. Oh, and I guess I can uh, ba -ba -ba, put on my champion's tunic back, because we're not freezing cold. In fact, we are almost too warm. Well, I think we made it through. Huzzah! Torch was the way! I see you. Why are you even hiding? Hello, di giant tree. The great Deku. And... Don't think I've ever seen that mask before. And the sword in the stone. Could it be? Yes, it's a hero of legend. Welcome to Korak Forest. I always wondered what you looked like. You're much younger than I imagined. Mm. Mm, you, could it be? Mr. Hero's here. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. That only sprouted today? It was a prediction that you'd come, I think. Mm. Now then, the Korak trials await. Wait, you haven't even touched the sword yet? What are you waiting for? You've got to go get the sword first. I'll tell you about all the Korok trials once you've taken care of that. I don't think I've ever done the Korok, uh, trials. <laughs> Cutscene time. Oh, memory time. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Memories, they attack. Mm. 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 
is that? Did I doze off again? Not the voice I expected. Hmm. Well, well. It's you. It's me! You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. You're a tree! That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. No! Nope. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. The Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Her name is Fi. It was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. Even me, who already possessed it? As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose <laughs> the, your life. The Koroks are amusing. You stand. When they're not being little weirdos. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. Let us see whether or not you currently possess said power. The Hero Sword! Well, I guess we'll make a save. In case we die. Oh, I don't have enough? Damn. You would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. Prepare before you try again, for I will not stay your hand part way through next time. And how many do I need? Well, there's Hestu. We can grab more weapon blocks. Then I'll go to the, the horned demon guy, trade out my stamina for one more heart, and then we'll try again. Shalaka! It's you! We meet again! Which is a silent treatment, don't you remember me? I'm the musician of Korok the Forest, Hestu! I wonder if they added that in just in case people, like, got here without meeting him. Or maybe he does have, like, diddly dee. You need ten? Could have sworn that I have ten, I'll have to count. I'm impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. So have you brought any Korok seeds? I sure hope so. If you return my last Korok seeds to me, I'll expand your inventory. More weapons. By one more weapon. <laughs> the Master Sword weapon slot, I guess. Da -da -da. <laughs> eh, sure, let's do one more. Oh, 12? That jumped up. But we have it, so let's do it. Because weapons are more important to me than... Shields and bows. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Expand the band weapon stash. But I'll still go trade in my one. Well, actually. Uh. There's no real way to get right back here without going through... Like, there has to be a... 
a teleport spot somewhere. So that's the main thing. I don't want to... Well, I guess it wouldn't be terrible to go back through. Let me quickly wander around, like, this path up here. Maybe it'll lead me to... Like a shrine or a teleport spot. Hmm, I'll head... Actually, let me quickly go and turn off the sensor. If I go over here, let's see. Hmm. Where's the normal? Ah, the Dashika sensor. Only shrines. There we go. So there's a shrine this way. Because I don't want to get lost and not be able to make my way back. Huh, you have a quest for me? Hey, Mr. Hero, sir, we need to make sure you're resourceful enough to shoulder Hyrule's burden. That's why we prepared a trial just for you. Maybe later. Mm. Don't know if that's related, because they all have, like, same things. Okay, so it seems to be this way, and then up. Aha, there we are. Bing on. I'll go ahead and activate it. So that we can teleport to it. Yep, because we can travel to it. We'll quickly go back to Hatino Village. Talk to the... Horned guy. Swap it out, just in case. Because I'm fairly certain I have ten. I might have nine health. Either way, this thing is basically will just be a... I probably should have counted before I teleported. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I liked and subscribed, and thank you, thank you. And also, thank you for trying to lead me to the shrine there. It's just stream delay makes rights and lefts hard to follow. Let's see. I almost wish that you it would tell you, like, how many of, like, hearts and vessels you had. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we should have enough. But the Deku Tree said that I would have died. Well, I mean, I guess we can go back and make a save, and if I die, I die. That would be a funny, like, death, I guess. Over here, we died to, like... What did we die last to? I know I died blowing myself up once. In fact, <laughs> once we land, I should take a look where I died. Or probably 12? Maybe. That'd be a little annoying. I feel like 10 is just a good number. 12 seems slightly odd. I guess I could look it up. Because we're around there. But I guess before looking it up, we shall try with our 10. So that if we die, we die. Because I think my last death... I honestly don't even see it anymore. Has it been so long since I last died? I don't see my ex anywhere. Huh. But because I could have sworn like 10 just seems like a good number. I could have sworn in the past I heard it required 10. Even chat here thought it took 10. Let us put our lives on the line after we save. Let's go. Although it's kind of funny how he said, you are the hope of Hyrule, I'm not going to stop you from killing yourself, trying to get the sword out. Nope. 
is not 10. Which is just weird, okay. Let me look up how much it does take then. Breath of the Wild. Master Sword. See if we can find it. Ba ba ba. Huh, weird. It says requires a minimum of thirteen heart containers. A little odd. Here I thought that I had just enough. I wonder why 13. And right now we only have 10. And I, we currently have two. So if we go on a shrine binge, this should be my third spirit orb. I can go to the horned guy and trade out the stamina vessel for another heart. Thirteen just seems like a weird number. You'd think ten would be enough. Let's see, what is this shrine gonna be? Oh no, it has a... It has a readable... Look at the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. Hmm, the stars for guidance. Hmm, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to assume it's like, hmm, so like three, or is it, because one, two, three, four, five, six, so that couldn't be it, maybe it requires the big ones, so like, because I'm going to assume that these are the stars they're talking about, the constellations. So the big ones are the count, so that, that, this would be three, I presume. Let me see. Because then one, two, or like, hmm. Huh. Trying to think. Because, like, uh, hmm. Because it says, look to the, the constellations. And it has to do with the number on these rows. Because there, that could be three, or it could be one due to the, hmm. Or how many there are of that. Gotcha. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Gotcha. Okay. I was trying to think of the different ways the constellations could be used, and I can only assume that since they're on the big wall, it's how many constellations there are on the wall that match that one. Because let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. And then small one next to other one. One, two, three, four... I'm going to assume four. Okay, this one, kind of lightning-esque, is one. And then super long boy is two. All right, I miscounted somewhere. Probably on these ones because they're the more abundant. Because we have... Because this one is the three-point kind of L. One, two, three, four, five. There are five of them. And we put them in the five slot. Then this one is kind of 
two little guys together, which is one, two, three. So I guess three, and I put it in four. That's my bad. For some reason, I put it in four, and I don't know why. There we go. Because it was just running through my head, like... And then if we want to get this, we have to do this again. So it's actually one, two, three, four. Four for L's. One, two. All right. Four and two. To get that there treasure chest. Let's see. Lightning bolt is two. Long boy one. Two one. Which is basically just a swap of what they were. Aha! Treasure. It would be extra mean if they, like, made it so that... Well, no, they couldn't have. Like, I just was thinking it would have been extra cruel if, like, the main constellation wasn't inputted, the door would close. But uh, then it would be impossible to get the treasure chest when you opened it up. Give me my third spirit orb. I wonder what the Koroks think about having this pretty big structure underneath their f <laughs> their forest. Then again, how old is the Deku tree? Was the Deku tree here before? The <laughs> the old Sheikah came 10,000 years ago to build the shrine? Like, was there a... Some kind of a... Place... Holding... Like, a, what's the word? Some kind of place for... The sword to be... Placed and then you, like, build up around it? Well, I guess I can see what you got to say. All right, what is the trial? All right, ice rod. All right, we'll keep that in mind. It's, 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 it's Mr. Hero. <laughs> Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? Peeks through... Uh, thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight and it's not scary, but you'll need to be extra careful, so I want to see a bloopy. It's blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark just like about peak size. A blue, glowy, hoppy thing. Huh. I guess I'll help you out. Oh, yeah, the, the slime things, yeah. I think so. Let's see. Oh, those things. I need a picture of it. Gotcha. Not slimes. It's the thing that drops rupees when you smack it. I left, did you die? I tried to pull the sword because I thought 10 would be enough. Apparently you need 13. Much pain. Then I guess we'll... I guess we could come here and try and come down here to get that shrine. That'll put us at 11. Horned guy would take us to 12. Then what we could do is come over this way... I presumably hit a shrine here. Come up this way, hit any shrines, get the tower, try to do this section. So I think that's what we'll do. Our goal today, since we have a horse... Wait a minute. 
Actually, come to thought. I want to... Well, well, the rain has stopped. We'll go there. Because I want to see if we can find... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think. Isn't there a shrine in the woods? Oh, deeper into the woods. Probably to the left, because... Uh, we just did one that was right next to the tree. But uh, there was also one... Well, I presume, because there's, like, a section of the, like, forest that probably leads to another shrine. Presumably. Also didn't know you existed. How good are you? You are fucking good. Mm, yot. Okay. Because I guess deep, deep, deep in... I guess that is the Deku Tree. Yeah, that has to be the Deku Tree. Then let me go to the... Ba ba ba. Where is it? Horse Rumors. Under a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. I'm trying to think. When are you going to stream Breath of the Wild again? If you mean the next stream will probably be Monday, because I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, presumably... Since that's the cherry tree, at, like, presumably... Let me quickly see. There's a bridle that enhances your scores of skill well, under a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. At a mountain. That's not a mountain, so it's probably not them. At a mountain. So we'll have to be on the lookout for a cherry blossom tree on a mountain rather than ba ba ba. Because I just figured, oh, Koroks gather there. It's big and kind of cherry-ish, but... Probably not what they're talking about. Alright, so back to the initial plan. We're gonna come here, fly down, because I marked a shrine we didn't go to with the treasure chest. We'll go to that one. Then, oh. I guess we could try and get the shrine that's there, too. Come over here, grab this one. Blah, blah, blah. And things should be good, because that should put us in decently. All right, plan set. Let's go shrine gathering. And then if we wanted to, we could also try and do the hidden forest shrine, since apparently there's two more in there. But I wonder why they specifically decided to make the Master Sword pullable at 13. Have you gone to the volcano? Not yet. We've yet to go to Goron City. We've come to this, like, part, but, uh, like, we've come to this, uh, tower, but we haven't gone, like, to the anywhere here. Hmm. A cherry blossom on uh, top of a mountain. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. As we maneuver around. Could always go to the various towers after I'm done looking for it. Yep, try nearby. Yeah, we can just stop here. <laughs> I would recommend try, uh, trying it if you want to sell stuff for lots of money. Ah, going up the... Going to the volcano, to Goron City. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I think I've uh, found a decent, like, uh, system of, like, cooking up hearty radishes. And that's worked pretty good for me. But in the future, if we want more money... 
trying to get to Goron City is a very important thing then. I think we'd be able to survive getting to Goron City. Oh yeah, I forgot that was technically a shrine quest. Have you found the mighty bananas? I have killed some... Oh, well, I guess technically not killed. They disappeared on me. But uh, I've defeated some Yiga clan guys and they dropped bananas. Well, gotta go. See you next stream. Okay, so bye. See you next time. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. Hope whatever it is you need to go do goes well. Alright, so... Guess it's burn time. Let's see what these would actually go and burn. This seems to be covering something, so we'll burn you. Reveal your secrets to me. They were boxes. <laughs> So to get that, I want that. To get that, I just have to burn those. Treasure chest there. Treasure chest there, okay. Oh, and I can get my arrow back. Burn down everything! Horribly missed that. Oh, but it caught on fire anyway. The miracle of destruction. Oh, that's why. Oh. And then metal. Luckily, it wasn't like a... Uh... Like a wooden key. Also thankful I couldn't destroy you. <laughs> have you cooked the bananas? I have not. This one was nice and quick. Oh, I see you. Why can't I open a chest while standing on top of it? That's Link's right, damn it. Let's see. We don't need you anymore. Be gone. And now we can smash things with the cobble crusher. Give me my fourth orb. So with my stamina that I can trade in to be a heart container, and these four orbs, that makes 12. We need four more to be able to do it. And here I thought that, like, again, I wonder why they settled on 13. Now we can take this treasure chest away. I could try and, like, come here, make my way here. Hmm. But at the same time, I would also like to just, like, uh, save it to get up here to the Lanayru da ba da da We'll have to wait and see, because... Tempered power. Passing the flame. Did each one have... Oh, I never realized. Metal makes the path, and they even tell you if they have treasures still in them. That's nice. Oh, and there was also one up here to, uh, like, the Akala Research Center. Alright, so idea. We'll, uh, come here, Akala Tower, fly down, see maybe about meeting Robbie. We'll do that tower, and we'll see. 
when you said reveal your secrets, I heard uh, Jorgen von Strangle from Fairy Odd Parents. I love his voice. I I don't know who that is. Is that like the big? I am the big militaristic fairy, and you will do as I tell you. I'm going to show you, little Timmy Turner, why it's better if you were never born at all. <laughs> Don't you see Timmy Turner? Die. Let us. Oh shit. I forgot that this is where the fly boys are. Stop hurting me. I'll put on my warm doublet mid flight. You can't stop me. I am a. God! Wait a minute. Oh, salvage. I was like, why is that just a hairdo? Oh, because it's Xenoblade. As to why, for why it's 13, I want to say that's because 13 is seen as an omen. But the thing is, is 13 seen as an omen from a Japanese perspective? Because I do know that, like, 4 is, like, seen as a negative thing in Japanese culture because, uh, or, like, certain cultures, because I think for Japan, four sounds like, uh, the word for death. So, skipping four is, like, trying to ward off bad luck and stuff like that, so. But it also could be that they're aware of, uh, 13 being a Western superstition, and so they kind of adopted it. That's always a possibility. <laughs> I love your voice unironically. You have a range, and you can do so many voices. It's so incredible. I oh, thank you very much. I do try to, like, in the past, have tried to, uh, we would audition for, like, just those normal little... Hey, this is a free little project that we do for fun. Still, sadly, hardly ever get any, like, auditions up in there. Just not much luck. Such is the pain of the world. It's just very difficult to... Work up the energy to audition for, like, things that aren't even going to pay you. And then you get rejected. I th funnily enough, part of uh, the reason it hurts so much is because lots and lots of people have always said, like, Ah, you have a good voice. You should do voice acting. And then when I try, I fail. For life is cruel. Which has just always continued to be a... Like a big ol' stab. <laughs> Although that does remind me I should try and... What the fuck? What are you doing here? If I have to blow myself up to kill a random spawning boar, I will. Just look at all the meat I got! Let's see, where's a low tier, like, do we have, ah, here it is, full with only one, nom. But that reminds me, before the boar spawned in, is, I do want to do my own, like, uh, edited content YouTube videos, but I'm always constantly double guess, like, what's the word, not double guessing, second, second guessing my scripts. And then, because brain is bitch, it always, like, uh, stresses out over the trying to do video editing. Just like, brain is my worst enemy. Explosion. From ultimate meat. 
And plus there's a stable two here, if I believe. Correctly. So if we really wanted to, we could sleep the rain away. Seriously, why is there so much rain? I guess we can try and get this here Korok. Try and head it off. You fool, you're mine now. We spare the fox as we head towards this stable. Probably there's just lots of wolves out here. Sorry, wolf. Explosion for more meat. And giant skeleboys. Die, skeleboys, die! I don't have to waste my my stuff on you. I think it should be warm enough for me to set this back on. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't all stand up when there's no heads for you to take. Well, like you stay down. You try and hunt me, I blow you up. Fool what you are. You'll face the might of EXPLOSIONS! <laughs> Die, boar. That's why I really like the Sheikah set. It just allows me to sneak up on animals by accident and blow them up. Totally fantastic. Totally phantasmagor- Will you fuck off? I'm trying to get a picture here, and your ass, your flat, bony ass, is just in the way! Just want to do this so I can go boop, so we know where it is, roughly. Ah, Skull Lake, pretty far away, so we're probably not going to get to it. So what we'll do is we'll change the stamp to that, so we know... We know of its existence. For some reason, like, an idea came, uh, like, just launched into my brain, like, what if one of these here, like, stables was actually, like, a cannibal shelter? Like, they're actually cannibal? Son of a bitch! Like, they're actually cannibals? And then my br- uh, just like, eh. I've played too many Bethesda games. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Check out my album. Well, that's obviously a... Yeah, one of the Bubba Buzz. Probably one of the Triforce, like, shrine things. There was a place like that at the ruins in North Akala Valley, to the west of here. Ah. It's pretty much directly west of here. I'm certain you'll be able to find it without any trouble. So let's see. Presumably right here. Well, since it's right there, I guess... We'll probably head right there after we do this shrine and maybe uh, head up here to Robbie's place. Hopefully we can get there before lightning comes for us. Luckily, lightning doesn't tick down while we're in a cutscene. <laughs> I literally neon. I love that neon is literally just bomb man. Why use up my weapon de degradation when I can just bomb my enemies to death? Well, there's a thing off to the side, like a downward thing, so it's not going to be a combat. Ooh, gyro! Gyro time! I don't mind the gyro that much. 
Like I said, it's the rain that gets me. Ah, that was too hard. Uh, respawn? I guess I have to come out and then do it again. Gotcha. Booyah. Second time's the chiam. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you leave without me. If you leave without me, I will. There's probably, like... Is there any treasure associated with you, Hammer? Oh, it's deeper in. More gyro. I don't mind gyro. Let's see. Huh, that might actually work. Come on, a little bit more. <laughs> Damn it, I exited too quickly. I exited too quickly, what a fool I am. So third time's the charm. As we wait for it to go in, we can't exit. If we exited, it would have just annihilated everything. Imagine if I did that like multiple times, like, oh yeah, I did it, immediately back out. Dang it, go back in, immediately get it. Great frost blade. What do I want to sacrifice for you? Is there anything I want to sacrifice for you? I guess the cobble. Goodbye, cobble. Then what we'll probably do... <laughs> hmm. Okay, we'll probably do is head back to Hatino Village after we go to Robbie's place. So that we can show the kid the fire wand. And then... We'll see about, like, other shrines and stuff. And then, this should make it so we only need three more shrines. Goodbye, Monkman. <laughs> you could say it's really grinding your gears. The rain, probably. The rain is just evil. It is the abolishment of fun. Because, like... With weapon degradation, if you play smart, like, you're likely- you're not that likely to, like, run out that fast. It's like, that's why I upgraded my bombs quickly, and just, like, everything. But- oh, well, what do I have? My bow? But, like, weapon degradation, that can be mitigated by the player. Most weapon degradation stuff is in the hands of the player. Rain! Completely out of your control. As far as I'm aware, there's no, like... Like, there's not even a armor set that allows you to bypass... Like, the rain's anti-climbing. Which, at least that would be something. Like, imagine, like, even if it was, like, the second level of the Zora armor. And made it so that you could climb even during rainstorms. Like, at least that would be something and I would, like, like... Oh, shit! What the fuck, motherfucker? I can just cheese you. I can just cheese you if I wanted to <laughs> by throwing this, blow you, but that'd take so long. So we're going to come around instead. 
and uh, we'll smack you a bit. Okay, you're just like an automatic explosion device. If I hit you and you don't know what's going on, you scream in explosions. Goodbye. There is an armor set that allows you to mitigate rain effects? How have I not heard about this? But even then, like... I've never heard of it. And... I've heard nobody talk about it. So how was I supposed to know? Obviously it is the... Never seen before... Armor set. You can't see it. It doesn't exist. Well, you're not Robbie, but we'll talk to you anyway. I. It's. Un. It's. Hi. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Are you the one called Link? Hmm? Hmm. That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I need to tell you. But how can I determine in full certainty whether or not you're the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm? Hmm. Yes, if you can show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago, that should prove you're truly Link. All right, you want me to strip in front of you? Madman? Mm -hmm. Yes, the number of scars on your body. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm, yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin. I am the lead Guardian researcher and director of Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie! He has an electric guitar. In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pearl and brought her power? Huh. I met a child. Hmm? Pearl? A child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm. Or do you mean that Pearl aged backward and she is now a child? Pearl got younger. Hmm. Are you certain? Hmm. So she's as crazy as ever. Okie doke. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm. Yes, and typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamities regain its power? I know. Hmm, I see. Then I don't need to tell you my story? Tell me! Hmm, yes, I see. In that case, the goal of our Shika Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the Calamity that has endured across time. To rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the Calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now! <laughs> yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces of Ashika, yes? We must destroy the Calamity! Let's do it. Yes, that is correct! You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Hmm, <laughs> did you catch all that? Cherry, uh, the ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to borrow, bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Hi. Morning, and Hi. check it out. Are you trying to be Pura? How's that? I figured I'd give the impression of a Tino Ancient Tech Labs director Pura a shot. Maybe it's a bit much for the first time meeting you, though. Not at all. Aw, oh. Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, uh, I'm Jiren. Hey. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history, to be honest. I've been focusing a lot on my research on shrines. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of the Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of the Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run to Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Have you got any other questions? Okay. Nah. Funnily, I, I wonder what would happen if, like, you went there first and did that quest. If it would just automatically finish. 
So I know where those items uh, are. It doesn't 100% negate the slipping effect, but it gives you more speed when climbing. Hmm. Not sure if it, that really makes it worth it. Especially because, oh, the... I'm not sure if, like, this side quest sucks is either for bringing the blue flame or the skull eye or for the <laughs> water rain negation thing. <laughs> Could be any of them. The ancient oven, you see, it's a bit out of sorts right now. So it's impossible to make ancient soldier gear. Hmm, yes, I suppose we'll have to carry the blue flame. <sighs> Let's see, adventure log. So you have to, like, make your way over. Hopefully it'll have a... Man, Robbie must have been busy destroying guardians, throwing them away. Because it is a decent ways away, so it'll take a bit to get back. Apparently they're enemies. Well, not that. Let's go. Darn. It smacked. It smacked. So you guys, get you out of the way. And is there no... Maybe it's over here. Is there any... Just... Doesn't seem like there's a torch anywhere. That's kind of lame. I don't think so. Is there any torch hidden here? That's a little mean. The Hatino one had it. That's a little mean then. So really the smart thing to do is to go to Hatino village. Go to where their ancient diddly D is. Grab the torch. Go back. Then at least we can try. Because more than likely there's also a bunch of enemies about. If those two guys are anything. And plus this works out a bit. We can go talk to the kid. Be like, here's a fire wand. We'll drop it in his house. His house will burn down. We'll go get a torch. I guess first things first should go. Let's see. Where's the weapon connoisseur? Hit that too fast. I'm a fool. Hmm? Oh, isn't that the fire rod? You remembered our promise. Thanks. Let me see. Go ahead. <laughs> Has to be an unlit torch. I know. I'm grabbing the torch from this place. So that I can then use that to carry the flame better than just like a stick. Gramps will flip when he hears I saw this. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. 20 rupees. Not bad. My Gramps told me to give it to the person that teaches you how to fight. Close enough. All right, the next weapon I want to see is... What was it? Um, oh, yes, that one. That one. <laughs> have you heard of the Moblin Club? I've seen it in books, but I've never seen it in real life. So I have to go find and beat up a bunch of Moblins. We'll just follow these back to where their ancient diddly d is. Grab the torch, because I'm fairly certain a torch exists there. And if not, I'm trying to think what other torches could be. <laughs> no, 
Now I'm imagining like a challenge run. Unless this one also doesn't have. Oh, come on. Where's the torch? Apparently it was a one time torch, too. Damn it. Could have sworn that that got a torch here. Hmm. Then, in a way, I'm trying to think. Like, unless it also disappeared, technically, the next one I know is here. Like, in the Lost Woods at that one part. I'm just trying to think. Oh, idea. I never did pick up this torch, I think. And if things, hopefully, like... Hopefully it reset if I did touch it. I'm just trying to think of, like, where our torches just spawn. So I can use it instead of a branch. Because that way the torch won't burn out. It's even raining here. There, why is it just always raining? So let's see. I'll just go to the guardian weapon. Go back to... There, now you can't lightning me, you bastard. Because at the beginning of the game... Old Man Rome... As a torch here. Booyah. Oh, we have room for it anyway. And now we can teleport back here. Oh, well, first things first, take that away. Delete stamp. Teleport here. And then do it. Yep. Use a torch to carry the blue flame indeed. And this way, we can make our way up, kill any monsters along the path. So it should all work out rather well. So we'll go to the adventure log. Let's see. Where are you? Not you. Robbie's research. We'll get to the rough point where it, like, uh... Because obviously you need to go from the ancient furnace thing. Go down that little mountain path, or like, hilly path. Go around the lake, and up back towards Robbie's place. So basically, kind of turn here. So we shall sneak up on and uh, kill all the enemies. See, what do we want to kill you with? Yeah, you just keep staring there, and I'll give you an eight times uh, backslash. Here's your eight times back shot. Goodbye. Because I think this is more the way they meant it to go. And I see you. Prepare to die. Come on, die. Fine, I'll get closer and kill you. How did I miss and hit your hair again? Yep. Bomb. And I see you. You're gonna be a nuisance, so I killed you. And there seems to be, like, a lot of these lanterns built about. Because, like, it seems like even Robbie knew that this was gonna be a pain. And then there's a monster camp, which... I can definitely see why... 
This would be painful. How'd that not kill you? Because it's only two times. Die. here destroy these guys with bombs i guess check your weapons to see if any of them are a moblin clubs yep. ah, somehow that hit you oh, that's a spiked boko yep. club That might be a mobbling club. Yep. Seems big and mobbling enough for it. Yep. Let's see. It's a spiked mobbling club, so I'm not sure if that counts. Let's see. Weapon Connoisseur, he wants a mobbling club, so he might deny... A spiked mobling club. Which is a little silly if you ask me. It's just a better mobling club. Then again, this is the kid that said, I want to see specifically a traveler's sword. Not a sword in general. A soldier's, or like a traveler's sword. No other sword will do. By, make sure none of these freaks yep. will rain on our parade. Just clear a path straight towards the torch. Because walking the path will take to get there should clear out any enemies. Because I doubt that they'd be evil enough to go, hey, lol, psych, why are these here? <laughs> Yo, bear. You can tank a fucking bomb? Okay, that one I think just missed. No, oh, no, get back here. You've interested me now if you're on death. Not sure if that's worth it overall. Guess we'll use this for mining a little bit. Because I don't want to send the goods just flying away. Even if it is just rock salt. Come back over here, blow up the slime because I don't want to risk you. Come on. I know you exist, slime. Very rude. Don't you make yourself known after the fact. Now we just need to hope that the game isn't like a super mean and spawns enemies only for when we grab the <laughs> the torch. Darn. And then... Ah, but now I have to come towards the bomb. You fool. And somehow your friend didn't hear that. Your friend must be deaf. Perfect enough for me to sneak up on him and slap him up the ass. I swear if it... How'd you hear me? That's illegal. Let's 
see, is there any eyeball torches that I can... Game, I don't care about climbing right there. Game, there's enemies I'm trying to maneuver. Get out of here. Destroy your friends and then come for you after. Here, present for you. Come on, drop your weapons. You know you wanna. Kaboom. Present for you. I swear, some of these bomb launches should totally do fall damage. It would be hilarious. Darn. Mine now. Die. And a dragon bone boko. Let's go over here, because this one's about to die. We'll actually drop you. There's even a chest in here. Hmm, let's see. Because since it's raining, basically need you. Hmm. Well, actually, idea. Because I think we've used you before. So we'll get a brand new one that's one up. I'm back. I'm fully expecting this to change the title to Rage Induced Title. It is raining, so I'm not sure if that'll affect the... bob -da -ba any. Because it is like a blue flame. And we've eliminated, like, a lot of the enemies along the way. We're gonna try and sneak up on this guy. Never mind, you decide to turn around like a creep. And then, bomb. And it's just another spiked moblin club, not a normal moblin club. Yeah, these guys could probably ruin it because it's nighttime. And they're like, man, we're gonna come up from the ground. Now, wolves, they don't want to mess with you. I want to mess with this guy. Die. Ah, screw you, game. <laughs> I was doing my attack before he realized I was there. I should be grandfathered in for sneak damage. I will bomb you to death instead. Let's see, is this normal spiked moblin club? It is kind of absurd how many just like decently big enemies they throw at you for this. I guess it's because you get decent armor for doing this quest and then if you also have the resources. But still, it is pretty nuts. And it's a blood moon too. You know what? No. Screw you. I'm gonna wait out this blood moon in this, in this shrine. Screw you, I killed all those guys, they stay dead. I was going to joke earlier. Lol, wouldn't it be funny if after I killed all these guys, immediately there was a blood moon? No, screw you game. I'm using the tech ch my chat told me. If you wait out the blood moon, in a shrine, it gets put off to the next day. 
or like the next night. Only problem is I don't know what time it is now. I do not know the time. We'll wait just a little bit and then head back up. But just God, the timing on that. I'm just systematically eliminating all these enemies to make my way down, only for me to basically steps away from the diddly D to have it be like, no, <laughs> Blood Moon. We'll wait just a little bit longer. And let's see. Be hilarious if I went out and it immediately activated the blood moon. Like, surprise! No. I want to skip this blood moon so that I can just breeze up there, smack some things, like even get halfway down the mountain. Because I'm like, no. <laughs> then again, it could also have been a troll. Chat could also be trolling me like, ah, you can skip blood moons by hiding in shrines and potentially could have been had there. For all I know, time stops while you're in here. And this is the desired effect. Haha, -ha, watch the streamer think that they are advancing time in a shrine, when in actuality time is frozen in a shrine. It probably isn't. But it is interesting to note that the time dealy is missing from the other dials like heat, cold shrine thing, which is extra amusing. You'd think time would be more relevant to know than, like, is there anything you want to look for inside a shrine being there? But I guess that's just there to be like, in case you do have it marked to anything, and anything like that appearing in a shrine. Now, let's see, it was like 940, oh, like 1145 when we came in here. Let's see. And it is gone. Blood Moon is skipped. Temporarily. So we basically have 23 hours to go back up the mountain path. Like, man. I wish I had my teleporting horse. But I need to find that cherry tree. That monsters gather on a mountain with. And luckily, by the time that I make it to the furnace, it should also no longer be nighttime. Which means my way down shouldn't be as bad. Sure, there's that jag off. But that's not like the route I'm going to take down. And even then, he's far closer to these bobbity bars than a lot of other ones. But in fact, I think we're like close enough for things to go that I could probably just climb my way to the top, clear out any like remaining enemies. Because I think there was one more before I saw the... Like, uh, Blood Moon Rising. Why you even spawn, Flame Boy? Yep. Screw you, that was in your range. Maybe it's my depth perception, but I can always swear, uh, like, ah, this keys. 
It's in the range of my bomb, only for it to not be. Okay. Now we can begin. Let's see. Like the quickest way down with that also has a da ba da da. Here's one over here. It's no longer raining. We can probably... It is... Well, this is the brightest, like, uh, 3 a.m., I'll grant you that. See you, Skella Boy. I'm gonna see if I can... zoop down. Let's do that. Bomb. Get this back. Because I think that's the strat. Basically ignore the actual path. Darn it. I wanted to get that bug. I should have gone full Sheikah for it. Because I'm fairly certain that that is the go-to way of doing it. Ignore going the actual path, which will annihilate OCD people who are like, I have to light up all the torches. But skating down the mountain rather than actually following the path is probably the go-to. We managed to escape the main evils of the Blood Moon, which made me skip out on having to annoyingly dodge like a bunch of enemies or kill them again. You know it'd be cruel as if enemies were alive if they actively went and like blew out your torches. All right, wolves, don't do anything mean. Apparently you are considered enemies. Technically, I could probably beat you with the fire, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Each copy of Breath of the Wild is personalized. That would be funny. You bought this copy, therefore you must suffer this specific thing. I think that's basically how they originally wanted Pokemon to be. To have it be, like, randomized by a specific thing. But, uh, and basically not have, like, uh, versions, like blue, red, green, but instead have it be, like... Again, like, just like this version that you activated. You Link, listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. The furnace is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Ancient arrows, hello. They are made using secret Sheikah technology. With addition of my upgrades, they have been morphed into anti-calamity weapons. So to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful weapon. A type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Ancient Arrows! In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all types of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, oh, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out with rupees. Lots of them. I beg you! Let's do it, hmm? The two of us, as soon as it's possible, yes, let's conquer the calamity, hmm? Hey, hey, beep, familiar name missing. 
Let's see. So if arrow stuff, a fucking chainsaw. <coughs> Excuse me. Expensive, but they do resist guardian. So I might save up my ancient gear to do that. Was this like a different building and then they just built a giant telescope on top? That'd be funny. Alright, so we could do that, but that also seems like potentially a hassle. Because we'd have to come all the way down here to maybe do that. Instead, I think I'll teleport here, come down here, see if we can do anything there. Then probably... Like, maybe come here, ba ba ba. Come here, ba. So let's -a go. But I wonder if Breath of the Wild, each copy is personalized. I wonder how. Like, uh, or like, not how, but rather, what is personalized? Because that is... That makes me wonder if there's, like, one copy of Breath of the Wild that is, like, the best for speedrunning. And somebody discovers it and, like, I'm selling Breath of the Wild for $10,000. You want to be able to speedrun the best speedrun, son? Then give me money. Or rather, rather than sell it, what if you rented it? <laughs> You'll never catch me when I fly through the sky. <laughs> And then I ran out of stamina like a bitch. Well, we can get another heart here. Presumably. Let's activate the memory, get a heart, and then see what's down there. Activate the power of your mind. Oh, is it depressing time? I think it's depressing time. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. My mother said her own power. My grandmother said she heard me. voices. <laughs> but I don't hear or feel anything. Atheist Zelda, let's go. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Depressing time. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, I just have to walk up to one of the statues and be like, I have orbs, and the goddess is willing to speak to me. At least in a transactional sense. You have done well to find this spring. Oh, offer general scale received from the Red Spirit to, to the Spring of Power. Huh. I wanted a heart, though. Well, guess I can't get a heart from you. <laughs> I will guide you. Guide you where? Guide me where, really. Oh, so this is how we were supposed to get in. You know, through the hell of ancient flying dudes. I'm gonna go back the way I came. That seems less dangerous. Well, actually, no real reason to, like, uh, do it that way. We'll come here. Like, uh, hmm. Dum -da 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 -da. I'm trying to think. I guess, like, it seems that we can get over to this side from here and probably do that. So, yeah. We'll see about getting this shrine. So we need us. So we need Farosh's, like horn shards, two of them to upgrade my tunic. Then we need Dinral's the Red Spirit. I think she said. Because I think because like scale, you need a scale from Dinral if he's a Red Spirit. I assume like Red Dragon, similar to how Farosh is kind of a Yellow Dragon. At least that is what I assume. And I don't see any bloopies. So I can't take a picture of them for that Korok. Never mind. Dang it. Why are you in the... Da -ba -da -da? Do you count? Bloopy! There we go. Now I'm gonna get close to you and hit you with this torch. I'm going to torture you. Prepare to die! Darn, it got away from me. I got a decent amount of rupees, though. Not the maximum. But I got a decent amount. Maybe if I had a weapon of bigger reach, I would have gotten more. I'll grab these along the way. I guess while we're not in combat with big, big things, I can set that back. So I can be extra sneaky when I come up against my enemies. I can super sneak. Give me your meat. I guess we'll try and blow this up to get its rewards. More amber. This is where I first ran into a Yiga clan member. How oh, time flies. How flies time? Are you another Yiga clan member? Like, do you even activate if I just don't interact with you? That'd be a funny, like, failsafe if you're, like, in their view. And you try to walk away with from them without activating them. They're like, you! You think you can just ignore me? Teleports beside you. It's nothing personnel, kid. And tries to stab you. I think that'd be a fun system. But at the same time, it could lead to accidental Yiga clan activations where you don't know somebody's there, you're just walking along, then some Yiga clan guy that saw you from far off is like, you dare ignore me? And we shall blow these guys away with a bomb. 
Your friend is drowning. Your friend is drowning. Now let's see. One more thing and then we should be able to kind of get there. Or I could just cryos across. Hmm. And of course it starts fucking raining. God damn it. Fuck off. The moment I start climbing. Game, you are a cunt. Yep. Away with you. The main thing is that the shrine is there probably behind the waterfall. Issue. I think there are lizard guys. So trying to do it the normal way, like, I can't even really do much because of the fucking rain, so I can't maneuver. God fucking damn it, I hate this. Seriously, fuck off. It's so brain dead of a mechanic. <laughs> trying to think. What's the best way to get on over when I can't fucking climb? Like, I guess technically I have, like, a decent amount of, like, arrows and bows and stuff, so if they get mad at me trying to get close. I can probably snipe them decently. God, it's just so infuriating that it rains right when I begin to move. That's fucking annoying. That's also an annoying thing. It's like, come on, game. I just want to climb onto the ice thing. Quit putting me under the ice thing. I see you. Die. If only I could shoot the sky with these fire arrows. Considering that there is a raft, I'm going to presume that the shrine is just around the waterfall-ish. Or like in the waterfall. And then I guess if I really wanted to, I could put on the... Like, uh, the Zora gear and like swim up the waterfall if it's not, like, behind the waterfall, which I presume that it is. But still, it rains far too much in this game. Once again, people complain about the goddamn weapon degradation system. Should be it, roughly speaking. They probably expect you to come in with the raft. I assume that it's like up here. Unless it's like actually... Nope, there it is. Right where I thought it'd be. Let's see, do I have any big smashy? I do, I do. But still, that's just so annoying. I wanted to plot a fun, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna climb here, then over the arch to get closer to the waterfall before using Cryonis. No. Game said, fuck your fun. Fuck your creativity. Cryonis all the way over. Rain is just the fun killer. It isn't the torch quests that get me. It's not the weapon degradation. It's the fucking weather!
Let's see, there's dips on both sides, so not a combat trial. Big ass button. And there's a bibbity bop. I can get you without even trying. Azora sword. Let's see, is there anything I want to throw out for Azora sword? We can always get more. Then again, we can also always get a, a Zora sword because that one respawns like daily in Zora's domain. And then Opal, hell yeah, thing to sell. Darn it, I wanted to grab it, but then it went up ease. And I could no longer grab it with my telekinetic mind. <laughs> and then in midair, I stop, I freeze. And then what I use. That's weird. You'd think that this is what we'd use to actually do it. All right, I'm going to assume we want to bring you with us. Else, why would we even need you? Ah, we need you to climb, I presume. Or do we? Do I place you, like, here, and then I jump on? That's what we need. You'd think that this is what we'd use as a weight. No, it's a stepping stone. Maybe I could have climbed? Cause I could, but I don't think so. Either way, I did it. Give me your loot. Give me your flute. Give me your diddly diddly doot. Ba -da 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 -da. Two more until we can get to the Master Sword. Because again, we should have ten. One stamina vessel that can be turned into a heart container at the horned statue. Four full spirit orbs that can be turned into a heart container. And then two way, uh, like a uh, two way, uh, two more. So we'll come here so we can fly across here to, I presume I use that for a shrine. Then we'll go this way to try and hit shrines. And hopefully the rain will not follow us. Please! <laughs> now I just need to be careful because there are, like, guardians around. Maybe they won't see me in my Sheikah outfit. Alright, all the way over there, so it probably is best to head towards the mountain and get over there. And now I outrange you, and you're not one who's do not see me, Mr. Walkers. Please do not see me, Mr. Walkers. Do not see me, Mr. Walk-Around Spider, fucko. I don't want to deal with you today. I don't want to deal with the mechanical spider from hell. Do you long for apple, mister? Do you long for apple? Shit. Uh, do you long for motherfucking apple, my dude? Yeah. 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 Alright. Now the 
question is, where in this region is your specific tower? Is that this region's tower or the one beyond it? All right, we're looking in the wrong direction. That is far away. What about you? And you seem to be closer, so you're probably this area. It's okay. I'm still going to change this to tower. That way I don't have to do that each time. It's kind of tower-y, tower-esque. I do like that there's a little red dot that's like, hey, you are hovering over a thing. All right. We're going to try and get past these guys, head to that. Then maybe go and do that there tower for more shrining. Man, there's just all of these. Like level, what are you? Level two moblins? Just all hanging out. It has been forever since I've seen a level one moblin. And I don't think I've seen a level two moblin and that terrifies me. Well, I've never seen a level three moblin. Brain just kind of there. I do not believe that I have seen a level three moblin. Maybe once? Maybe once. Okay, we're gonna make our way up here, do this shrine. Probably teleport back to the initial tower, since that'll be closer in the tower for this area is that way. Restless Cricket Jump Scare. I'll let you live since I was a fool and didn't come uh, murder prepared. I was gonna bomb them for their meat. And I pulled out the Magnesis. I'm gonna take the iron from your blood. Oh, hey, a stable. All right, since this is up a cliff, we'll go do the shrine, go down to the stable, say hello, see if good old Daddy Dilf Cass is there. If he'll have anything new to say and not just like, would you like to hear the song that I've already sung you? It makes me feel bad for saying no. It's just that like, That's odd. I guess I hit the tree instead when I was trying to mark you. And plus this leads to the perfect way I can dive on down after doing this shrine. Rota-oo! 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 Down into the shrine we go. Will it be combat? Will it be magnesis? Will it be gyro? Will it be a one that's just like being here for a hundred days? All right. No, it could be combat. Nope. All right. Some smiggity smacking is going to happen. All right. So I can swim to this side. It seems. Or can I? Is there even any reason to? The most obvious thing is I can smack you. But what that do? I'm gonna presume that smacking you like flips over? Oh, it just whole the whole wall fucks off. Can I Magnesis you? I cannot, even though you kind of... It's because you're, like, kind of stone. Okay. Can 
And I do believe that since you kind of look like a bucket, I'm going to treat you like a bucket. I have horribly missed. Luckily, I was able to do that. I was overthinking it. Get go! What? If I do that... Well, let me swim over here and see. Uh, do you want me to get in the bucket? Is that what you want? Or do you want me to like uh, swim under? Looks like it potentially wants me to swim under. Let me quickly see. Smack you. So the idea seems to be... Like, I honestly don't know. Maybe if I'm on this side, I can shoot ya? Yeah. But then what does that do for me, except lock me in? Ah... Trying to anticipate it uh, so I can fly. Darn, I got off it. So I'm trying to think because it's like that's probably not it, but it just like it makes it feel like it should. Like, do I use you to knock that one in? Feathered Edge. Cerrito Craftsman forged this lightweight double-edged sword. Cerrito Warriors could soar into battle unhindered by its weight. Interesting. I don't know where to get more of you. I'll take you instead. Now let's see. Can we use you? We cannot use you to knock around you. Because it seems like it wants me to turn this up, have that unlocked to be able to do it. And if I, like, no, nah, probably not, probably not. I'm trying to think. Oh, I probably missed I missed a, a super obvious thing It made a super obvious thing And I just missed it, I'm a fool Let me smack you again Unlock door, smack you again, go fly. I just completely overcomplicated it. Because I just didn't look that way when it was up. Fool what I am.
Ta-da! That counts as unlocking, as victory. Whatever you say, mysterious, mysterious. Ba -da -ba -ba. One more and we can activate the Master Sword. Which I guess I could maybe go and try to do one of the ones in the Lost Woods if I really wanted to. But first things first, we head down to the stable. Which apparently is surrounded by broken things. It would be kind of depressing if we like ran into a destroyed stable. Hey, welcome. Uh. Is it that obvious? I'm into horses, so I got a job at the stable association, which is great and all, but... They dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle. Oh. They had me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. Sounds rough, buddy. If only I could eat some meat for energy, but the stable meals are vegetarian for the most part. Oh. Uh, what I couldn't do for some fresh-caught raw gourmet meat. Mm. Oh. oh, that meaty aroma. You don't happen to have any raw gourmet meat on you, do you? I'm no freeloader, of course. I'll pay you well if you split with me. Sure thing. Oh. For real? Well, if you don't have to tell me twice, I'll take one. Does a hundred rupees work? Sure, dude. Ooh. Thanks to you, I'm starting to feel better about this job. I'm going to real work my hardest. If you get a hold of any more rock on me, meet, hook me up. So that's a quickie, like, redoable. Ah, you. Uh. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? Take a look at my album. Look at this photograph. Oh, that horse statue. This is at the Sandy Sanadin Park Ruins. Yes, there's some park ruins on Safula Hill to the northwest of here. You'll find this horse statue there. Safula Hill, northwest. <laughs> Painting is my passion, but even I can tell that statue is a true masterpiece. It's worth seeing at least once. Safula Hill. Well, we can't actually see. Can we? Well, I guess we'll teleport back here. Probably try and make our way that way. To get to the other tower to see if we can also see other... Bobbity Boz. I forgot to look at the, uh, the rumor mill thing. Oh well. Ah, uh, we'll probably- uh, I should probably teleport back and read it because they might have something good. I'm gonna quickly do that before I forget. Well, first things first, take that pen back, teleport back there, read the diddly D from YouTube chat. I'm back. Hello, hello. Currently, I'm still on my shrine questing to get one more shrine, and then after we go and trade in my stamina vessel and these soon-to-be eight spirit orbs, I should have enough HP to pick up the Master Sword. But first, I'm just heading back to this stable to read the rumor mill. And then if I really wanted to, I could then... For a modest fee... Like, uh... Swap out a, a bunch of uh, hearts to stamina vessels. Time for gossip and news about the past and the future. Today's topic is the weird and wonderful spirit Koroks. At the moment, the night is at its darkest when even the trees have d drifted into slumber. Actually, the time of day doesn't matter at, at all anyway. All throughout the world, you may spot these odd little spirit critters as you wander the land. They could be under a rock or way out in the wilds or even just a suspicious nook that seems slightly not right. Really eerie, huh? Three out of five is right. I already knew that. I thought you'd be an interesting one. Even your rumor mills suck. 
And I still have to find that cherry blossom mountain tree where all the creatures gather to be able to max out my horse. All right. The plan, though, let's see. The plan is to, I guess, kind of maneuver around those guys to kind of go that way so we can cross the river, but I guess... Hmm. wonder what that is. Either way, I guess we'll go through the giant's forest and there to try and get there. Does mean we have to avoid the all-seeing eyes of these bastards. And of course there's fucking slime! Why slime? Right when I was running from a guardian. Fuck you. Interesting. I wonder what they're guarding. Not enough to actually go fight them. I'm on a mission. Yeah. Nobody likes you, slime. You slime! We should be, like, far enough away from the... like, wrecked guardians to... oh. Bomb. I wonder if that means there's a Hinox nearby. Or not a Hinox, a... what is it called? Hinox is the big, like, bacoblin moblin type. Stone Talus. That's what it is. There's probably a Stone Talus, probably in that forest. If there are many Taluses about. That there is the tower we want to get to. Which means we'll have to climb there, cross that bridge. Which seems to be occupied by enemies. It even looks like a natural bridge. And it seems like it would be a big pain to try and go across the riverway. So up we go. Who needs to climb when you're part goat? I guess while I'm here, I might as well get to the top and look around for any potential shrineage. Doesn't look like it. Like, there might be something hidden down in that little crook. But I'm gonna go down this... this away. Why do they care about? Oh, that's hell. That's not nice at all. Maybe I should take that anyway and climb, because I don't deal with a barrage of assholes. Like, I can't even really bounce them off my normal way, so I think I'll play it safe. I'll go down this way so that we can kind of climb up a, a little bit, still get across the river with minimal... Like, absolute. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Might be in the river. That's a shitty well. Doesn't even have any water in it. Yeah, 
Might as well head to do this shrine around here somewhere. Then we'll go... Try the... Try and get to the... Tower. Rude. That's the third time I've run into many taluses. I presume it should be at the top here. Like, that's just, like, typical shrine stuff. And if not, it should at least give me a view. Oh, so it seems like it should be under here, then. Which means there should be a cave, or this is a shrine quest. But I don't think they... That would be mean, though, if the Sheikah Slate could pick up... Like hidden shrines that you can't get unless you know exactly what you're doing. Ah, we need to do some burning, which means fire arrow. I was gonna try and, like, ascend with the uh, fire, but, uh, it did not want to lift me. <laughs> Open sesame! I shall pick up this wood. Check behind the shrine, make sure there's nothing there. We'll do this. We'll go activate the tower for this area. And then we'll go get all the hearts we need to pick up the Master Sword. I don't. Also, it's interesting. It was playing a song there. I don't think I've ever heard before. Let's hope that this isn't a mean shrine. Alright, it could be combat, but the lighting could mean else... Nope, combat. And what is it, minor or major? A minor test of strength, so it shouldn't be bad. Total combat time. And since you're a guardian... I am ready to provide combat. Not one fourth of heart damage. That's not what I wanted to shoot at all. Ah, ah. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna die. It's a barrage of hell! Kindly stop. It did not stop. Ah! Why did that last one do no damage? Okay, fine. You're gonna be a jerk. I'll just kill you. Die. Yeah. It just was like, I am going to shoot at you for the rest of my life. Which is very rude of it. And now we shall put on our normal stuff again. As we go to pick up the master's sword orb, basically. The master orb threshold. Or the Master Sword Threshold Orb. Gib. 
You know what? I realized something that I should do. I should put a torch in my house. Since I have a house in uh, Hatino Village, I should use my weapon holders to hold a torch for when I need it. But alrighty. Next plan is to try and get to the tower to activate it for the region before horned dude normal like statue for health and then master sword it's like that shrine cave was like playing a different song from what I'm used to all right, we'll try to cross this bridge. Cr climb up. Get a vantage point to head towards the tower so we have like a staging area for this place. And I swear to God, don't you dare start frickin' raining on me. Because I'm heading towards that tower. We'll maneuver around these guys. By climbing up. Don't need to be boxed into a canyon if you go above the canyon. And there's another shrine nearby. If I see it, I'll mark it, but I don't think I'll go to it just yet. Okay, it seems like I'm heading, like, in its general direction. <laughs> Oneon, have you seen the big stone structures that the puzzle is rain? I don't think so. I know there's, like, a big stone structure in the top right-hand corner of the, the map, but I don't think that... It, like, uh, that's the one you're talking about. I don't recall there being, like, a rain-centric... Well, to speak of rain. But don't think I've run into a rain-centric, like, puzzle just yet. Hmm, I wonder if it's raining because of the area or just my bad luck. Because honestly, it's raining so much that like... Oh hey, now it's gone again. That's nice of you, game. Okay, idea, idea of where's a good staging area. I think this would be a good staging area. Should be able to climb up this way to get towards the tower. Well, I think that. <laughs> Speak of rain, I think this is. Well, Jesus. I forget. Did one of the side quests want me to find an electro wand? I think it was a cool wand. See, a legendary rabbit, freezing rod, so yeah. Oh, Jesus. Alright. The main issue here is the electro dude. Well, actually, I probably want something big to sneak attack one shot you if at all possible. And I should probably go in sneak mode. Again, I think it would be nice if there was a quick select for clothing out, like, full outfits. Damn it.
Come on. Stop so I can one-shot you. Maybe if I had a bigger weapon. There we go. And the main thing is I don't have any... Like diddly D. No. Well, let's see. Uh, best thing. I'm going to shoot you with a fire arrow. Die. Now, I should be able to get there. Ah, crap. Damn it. Get out of here. That's very rude. Now, I guess maybe I should drop a weapon for the Electro Wad. The Electro Wad, but uh, like all these weapons. All right, where's the other one? Oh, he's on the other side. That's going to cause like a thunderstorm, I think, for the whole area, which is a rude mechanic. Oh, if you're gonna do that, swap to things that you can't hit me with. I wonder if there's a way to, like, unequip, like, uh, like, fully unequip things, because it would be kind of rude if these guys could summon thunderstorms, and there was no way for you to unequip, like, a bow. Kill like what? Two of those guys to get over here? And that guy's still trying to snipe me. Jerk. Did I hear keys? Well that thunder broke the sound barrier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go climb to this side so it's further away from the psychopath. And then the, the electro keys is just blocked from getting me. It's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Me. I'm gonna get you. And then I think I got stuck there. Uh -huh. Suck it. Luckily, towers don't seem to be affected by rain. Which would be very rude if they were. So, yay. Tower. It's been a long time since we've activated a tower. Oh, there's a guy here? What? Why are you here? I'm the only one meant to be on towers. These are my towers. Oh, there's a there's a shrine. I am not sharing the map with you. I will throw you to the electros. They can have your electrolytes. Activation. Ba 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 ba. So how'd you get up here? Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird man. 
<laughs> we won't boo. That would be mean. He might jump and die. I also wish I was a bird man. A Rito would be awesome for the Zelda world. Huh? Where did you come from? How did you get up here? Though I suppose you could ask me the same question. Oh, you have, like, Rito garb, I think. You see, I've dedicated my life to the study of birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly if wings of their sides. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here since of no way to get down. Oh. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is the perfect place to observe birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. Oh. What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is that true? If I thought it impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman? Oh, it's more like gliding then. That's still a step in the right direction. If I could analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it might help me so understand the science of birdman flight. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <coughs> ah. Would you mind participating in a short research study? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel, depending on how far you fly. So how about it? I'll glide for you. <laughs> Marvelous. Our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research project. As such a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed. You know, in case I have to file an incident report. Fine. Landing, elevation, wind, direction, stamina, usage. Keep all of these in mind as you consider the farthest destination you can reach by gliding. Oh. If you're ready, let's take to the skies. Birdman reaches study. Go! And away we fly. It's even playing a nice little theme. -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 I do find it funny that we have to pay him to do this. And do we land? And luckily, we just get teleported back, it seems. Ah. Let's see here. You flew 466 meters. Small steps lead to great strides in the long run. All right, your compensation. Isn't it a collection of prices, research data, compensation enough? No? Fine. Well, a promise is a promise. Here's your reward. 21 rupees. <laughs> Imagine if that was the best way to get rupees. To do this again and again. To get one rupee more than your pa you pay. Ah, oh, fine. I'll make it 50 rupees. So, if you're still up for it, why not glide down again? The world of Birdman. No, I'm done for now. Oh, okay. But please come back soon. It's very boring up here. How do you not starve? But with all that done, we go to Hatino Village. Talk to the statue of Horned. And then, we'll go probably back to the Temple of Time, since that's the... Or we could go to Kakariko. That's probably the faster one overall. We'll turn in all our orbs, the stamina vessel turned heart, and we will get the deadly D. I wonder what happens if Link falls down during the flying, like... I assume you mean, like, if you, uh, like, just fall directly down while doing the research. That would be funny. He'd probably be like, that wasn't gliding at all. That was just falling. You come to tamper with your essence, yes. Yes, please. I'm currently without any. Are you in the mood to sell? Take a stamina vessel. I'll gladly pay you a hundred for one stamina vessel. Then the bargain is struck. I don't see how you can reduce your stamina vessels any farther. Hmm. I want one back. 
Park container. Yes. Then the park in his truck. <laughs> Side note, how are you alive? I am a god among gods. No, thank you. Now we will teleport to Kakariko Village, get more hearts, then go get the Master Sword! And then I think that'll be the perfect place to end the stream. And from there, we'll have lots of things we could do. Like, maybe we could even try the... What are they? The... Ba ba ba. The Korok Trials, or whatever they are. These apples are mine now. I do like that he has, like, specific individual ones that he points you to. Heart container! Yes! Have you woken any of the Divine Beasts? Yep, we did Varuta. You can actually see it in the loading screen. Since uh, Zora's Domain is the closest to Kakariko Village, I figured we'll go do that one. Another heart container. Yes! You know, it'd be kind of sad if I got a stamina vessel by accident, so I had to go to the horned beast again. Or like a horned statue. Now, we have enough to get the Master Sword. <laughs> Make an elemental horse if you have elemental arrows. I don't know how, like, I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't feel... I don't want to shoot my poor horse with an arrow. You know, it'd be funny if I went in there, pulled the, tried to pull the sword, and it still killed me. They updated it. You need a 20 now. All right, save. And now, Master Sword time. Give it to me. Give on to me. Booyah. <laughs> One half to do. Wait, you did the die last time? I thought I had just enough to pull it out at 10. Unfortunately, no. Kind of ominous piano music there. Oh, are we going to get a memory of the Master Sword? For you. Until then... You shall rest safely here. Oof. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? I'll go stop Calamity Ganon myself. The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. Did you? It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you. When he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. Words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? I like the music playing in this section. Yes. So did you, did you die or did the Dekichi stop you? He stopped me the first time, 
But then I thought, oh, I wonder if that was just like, I don't know. I had barely enough of it just programmed to stop me. I just figured I'd give it a shot because I, like, I thought it would do it at 10. And it's just like, oh, surely 10 is the right one. Apparently not. But seriously, how did the poor sword take so much damage? It's the master sword. But now I have it. It's mine now. What you just saw happened where you, you knew I got a flashback? Well, I guess technically that makes ago. sense. I wasn't there. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. I wonder if, like, the sword was angry. It's just like, you got me messed up. You basically die, and then you come back. Prove yourself, bitch. Hmm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon... Or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. At such Ooh. times, the true power of the sword will manifest, but be warned. Do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted, and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. It would be rash to rely on this sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the Defying Beasts before facing him. And it even was nice enough to heal me. And now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna save. So we don't have to worry about that. But now the question is, where will we go next time? Like, I do wonder, like, where that... Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. That one tree that the rumor mill at this place said. It's funny because the one thing was, like, right here. But I, I, for some reason, I doubt that the other one would be, like, nearby as well for the horse diddly dee. <laughs> to be fair, the Master Sword seems to be, like, vampi the, the vampire killer. And that it needs to take part of its wielder's soul. Hmm. But I guess before we end, I'm going to try and see if we can find uh, Farosh and get a horn shard. Because we know that Farosh, like, at least seems to spawn from this lake here. At midnight, it seemed. At least for me. And so to end stream, mostly so that I can try to... Chosen one. Okay, I was wondering what's happening. The hero called Link. Yeah? The time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. Is it like that super, yeah, Master Sword thing? At the place where you reunited with the Master Sword, the sacred Korok Forest. Go there and heed the great Deku Tree's words. Do so and a glorious trial will be bestowed upon you. EX Trial of Disward.
You know, I forgot that you were going to happen soon. But I'm going to try and head down there. Because I think I need to be at a good elevation to really encounter Farosh. Because Farosh seemed to come out at midnight. It is almost midnight. I guess we'll wait. The Blood Moon will activate. Oh, well. And we will wait for Farosh to... Because I think Farosh, like, spawns over there. And then kind of, like, fly, fly, flies. Goes over the bridge over here. And that'll be my chance to get a horn piece knocked off. It'll take a little bit because Farosh... Takes a bit to go wibbity woo, but I'm willing to wait there. And I guess we'll have to wait for you. But hey, we have Master Sword now. And I think because of the way we did things, we have like an extra weapon slot for now. For an elemental horse, shoot a horse with an elemental uh, bow, drown instantly, and find it again, huh? Never heard of that before, and of course that falls decently far away. I'm never going to get to that in time. We'll skip you. Now let's see. Did Farash spawn? Or do I need to be like closer over there for it to spawn? I don't know. What the? Where are you? Ah, a shrine I already did. Because at least I'm fairly certain. Because I mostly want to do this because I don't want to do things for the first time off stream. Meanwhile, like if I find, like, say the Great Radish or like uh, the Hardy Radish and then make something from the Hardy Radish, I'm willing to... Like, maybe do that off screen, just a little bit of grinding. But Farosh, like, getting an item from Farosh is something I want to do on stream before then. Be gone, Satan. <laughs> Are you at Lake Hylia? Yep, there should be Hy Lake Hy Hylia. Smack, smack. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could do that. How dare you? I get knocked down. I get knocked down again. Because I do know that Farosh came out of this lake once. So I assume that it was like their spawn point at midnight. But they don't seem to be spawning. So I'm like fairly certain this should be Lake Hylia. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the blood moon? That's entirely possible. So I guess what I could do is... Let's see. Throw down a bundle of wood. And bring out my flame sword. Till night. Because that's when we ran into him. There you are! Okay. Because Farash will travel across the lake a little bit. But closest is over this section here. from YouTube chat. Hey, I'm back. Hello, hello. We got the Master Sword, and uh, hopefully Farosh goes the way that I expect it to again. So that I can properly... Oh, is it going that way? Yeah, it seems to be turning back in. Good, good. Okay. Luckily, it's slow. 
Bugger off, skellies. And these are the ones that... Like, why do these even have, like, a ranged attack? Be gone. That's not what I... Game, I wanted to throw my bomb. Damn it, he's getting close. I'll eat. Energizing mushroom. Oh, yeah. Booyah! Frosh horn, and I got knocked off. I'm gonna die. Oh, never mind. Now, where'd it land? There you are. And now this opens me up to farm Frosh however much I want off screen. Ferocious scale, not a horn. Damn it. This is precious scale from the Golden Spirit Farosh. Well, you, you're buggering off. But at the very least, I think the scale will have purpose, considering that the game also asked for, like, the scale of Dinneral for the, like, uh, Spring of Courage. So it's entirely possible that... This scale will be important. But... I think that'll be it for now. And I might just spend some time off-screen grinding some materials off of Farash. Mainly the two horns pieces that I need to upgrade the tunic. Because I don't think that would be, like, super-duper great to just, uh, like, for stream content. But I think we did a lot. We got the Master Sword. We did uh, the Korok Force a little bit. We'll have to go back there to see, like, what the Trial of the Sword is. We activated that. But, yeah, mostly this was... Oh, yeah, and we also got the uh, the saddle for the upgrading our horse. But we also need the bridle to get it. And I don't know... Well, I assume. I assume we need the bridle and the saddle. But we'll definitely look for that there full set of things to so we can use our horse more, maybe. Or maybe I'll just forget about it. But next time, we'll probably start here, hit these three places to fill out the map, and maybe see about doing the Rito Village area. <laughs> Where is your horse? Currently stabled. Because, like, I do have the, like, ancient saddle, and it says equip a horse with this, but I don't know how. Maybe I'll Google search how to equip that. But, uh, it didn't seem like there was any option to put it on. So I'm uh, thinking maybe you need both pieces of the, uh, buh 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 where is it? The ancient horse things. We just need to find the cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. But I don't know where that is. I guess I could, like, look at the map and be like, Ah, where are mountains that would have a cherry blossom tree? Which also would benefit if I do these. Like these two, or like these three at least. And then who knows, maybe I'll figure, ah, screw it, we'll finish these off. Do you, do you have a full map? And uh, then we might lightly look at the mountains on the map, see if they have cherry blossoms, cherry blossom trees. Then elsewise, yeah, we'll probably just jump around, do side quests, try to do the Rito village, meet up with the Ritos, get their drip. And just, yeah, do things. We got the Master Sword. So, booyah. I guess it doesn't activate unless there's, like, an enemy to throw at. That's kind of funny. Whoop. Yeah, this stream, we got a horse. Named it Castle. 
got 13 hearts, got the Master Sword, did another tower, and visited a bunch of stables. Next time, we'll try to... Frosh, you're activating again? Okay. Okay, sure. I'll get into place. And the question is... Because, uh... Because I hit, like... Because I was aiming for the horn, because I figured, like, it's... Placement based. The Ferocious came back. Yeah, and trade hearts for stamina. Since we don't really need 13, I'll probably trade three stamina, or like three hearts for stamina vessels, probably. More than likely. Get up here. Try to get close to shoot your horn, my dude. And get blasted. Oh, it even falls to the nearest land. That's extra cool. Shard of Farosh's Horn. The shard fell off the Golden Spirit Farosh. It's said that the horn is the crystallized power of electricity itself. It sells for a lot, but there must be some other use for it. Now, it doesn't look like... Like, I assume that you can't just spam it and get multiple, plus because, like, they fly away immediately after you get one shot off. So I presume, and plus I could have sworn that I heard that, like, uh, there's kind of anti-grinding to these guys. Where you can't get their, like, drops multiple times in a single go. You meet them once, you shoot them once, then they fuck off. Into a vortex? What? They go into a wormhole? Huh. Interesting. But yeah, in my own time, I will grind at least one more shard of Farosh like horn so we can upgrade my main tunic. Then, next time, we will probably finish off all the towers. Because why not? Trade in some hearts for stamina vessels. Probably, like, go to the Rito place to try and get Rito Drip. And then, uh, maybe just go about. Like, maybe go up here to the Lanayru place. Because we didn't climb here. Just, like, adventure a bit. Like, adventure around this area a bit. Maybe adventure around this area a bit do some of the Rito Village stuff. Try to do side quests if possible. <laughs> How do you think it got back into the lake? I have n <laughs> no idea, but still, it's a little bit weird that they apparently go through wormholes. I mean, sure, the the goddess said that, like, I assume that like, Drenal is the same as, like, Farosh and is, like, a spirit made manifest as a dragon, so I guess it makes sense for it to kind of be that. Hey, Farash, you want to spawn a third time? For jokes? <laughs> Probably won't. But yeah. I think we made some progress. We got a horse, did a bunch of shrines, did a tower, got the Master Sword. So next time, more towers, more shrines, some Rito. Hopefully upgrade my champion's tunic. And we'll just go about things and also go about Mount Laneru because why not? 
And we'll just see, we'll just see, we'll just see. But I do believe that that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, for other things, my link tree has links to all that I do. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings with direct links in the various bios, descriptions, and link places of all the sites. In my link tree, I link my main edited content YouTube channel. I need to really get on it and make some of it, but brain. As well as links to the streaming YouTube and streaming Twitch channels, depending on your preference. With all of these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel for quality, because sometimes streams get wonky. See you on Monday, my birthday. Oh boy! Happy, uh, like, uh, early birthday. And I'll hopefully t tell you happy birthday on your actual birthday. But then other things in my link tree are links to my art places. I upload art, similar to my little character in the corner. Links to story sites that I throw writing onto, because writing is fun. And I've been doing that more lately. So huzzah. And finally... The final thing linked in my link tree is my Patreon, which is a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you all next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.